All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope the voice is coming good and clear. I have to adjust the microphone here. All right. Uh, let me know, please, if you have a problem with the sound. I hope it's good to go. Uh, today, our topic is the same as always. It's about Islam. And, um, you know, I always ask Muslims questions, which sometimes it's kind of like repeating yourself, but always the Muslims are immature uh, when it comes to answers. Then today, I will give you some examples, and for sure, uh, we will have some Muslims to call us, and they will. we will see it together, and we will notice right away that Muslims are... Islam as religion is immature religion. So if we if we look at the title, why Allah is a true God for Muslims, uh, what is the answer will be? As long right now we don't have a Muslim like uh, like right now with us life, I hope soon we will uh, we will start having the uh, the Muhammadan coin us uh, to give us some details about why Allah is the true God for them. Uh, so we have no choice but to go and read their articles because articles supposedly speak of their mind of why they believe Allah is a true God. So, uh, you know, I, I searched for some articles and I found that, uh, you know, as usual, the answers are immature. Uh, as an example, like, look at the answer. I mean, five reasons why I am convinced Allah is God. What is number one reason? Allah is the Arabic word for God. I mean, what does this have to do with the reason? Not only that is wrong, Allah is not the Arabic word for God. That is a stupid say, a thing to say. Because according to Muslims, Allah is a name of the God, not an Arabic word for God. So from the beginning, we got immature answer. Look, remember, the person trying to tell us why he is convinced that Allah is the true God. Now, answer number one, Allah is the Arabic word for God. What does this have to do with the reasoning? Nothing. And not only this is have nothing to do with the reasoning, that is a wrong answer, proving to us that this person who made this article, he have no idea what Islam is about. Now, Allah is a pre-Islamic Aramaic drift Arabic word for God. Mm. And that is the reason for you to believe that Allah is God? <laughs> Remember, he is trying to give you step by step why Allah is a true God. Until now, we have no, no, no reasoning except telling us the name is coming from where. And yes, it's coming from pre-Islam. This is true. But look how stupid, I, I, you know, I use the word stupid not to insult. Look, here he just said, Allah is the Arabic word for God. Here he just said the opposite. It's Aramaic word. Is it Aramaic word or Arabic word? Which one? Because you have now, we have two sections. So this is not an Arabic word. And absolutely, it's not Arabic word. This is why if we ask Muslims what the word Allah means, they don't know. You see, uh, many, they try to deceive you. They say, in Aramaic, there is a closed word like al-ilah, ilaha, etc. But this is this is not really the same. Uh, la, la, as a word, is used for a specific name are as a specific name for a specific uh, uh, deity and that is the moon god so al la you know we explained before that al in the old aramaic and the old hebrew actually the ancient hebrew the word god used to be al and then it's replaced by il il you know e l and all the aramaic anyway the aramaic is the source of all those languages in the middle east including the hebrew and the aramaic and, and the Arabic, sorry. So, because they are ignorant about what is the source of the language, they are trying to tell us that is a drift Arabic word for God. Still, this is not a true. Not a true. This is, can be true if the word Allah is just a word meaning God. But no Muslim in this earth believe that the word Allah is a word meaning God. 
it is a name it is the name of the God this is why the Muslim when they do Shahada which is to convert to Islam which is uh, to witness for Muhammad uh, that he is the God of Islam they claim that he is just a prophet but the fact they are witnessing that he is God because they associate the name of their God with the name of their prophet and put them together in one line and then they say that there's no God but Allah they don't say there is no God but God because if Allah is a word mean God then they should say there is no Allah but Allah have you ever heard of a Muslim saying to you there is no Allah but Allah if Allah is a word mean God then we can say there is no Allah but Allah obviously again immature answer showing us the ignorance of those who make those articles and the stupidity which is warped with um, copy paste answers coming from everywhere we continue until now we got no uh, no reason why Allah is God Muslim mentioned that they worship the same God as the Christian this is the reason okay hold on hold on this is the reason to believe that Allah is a truly a God because Muslim they say they worship the same God of the Christians no they don't worship the same God of the Christians the God of the Christians his name is Jesus what is the name of your God the God of the Christians told them that there's Father Son Holy Spirit do you have Father Holy, uh, Son Holy Spirit I mean why they lie if the Muslim they say that doesn't mean anything this is your claim until now you did not give me a reason why Allah is a true God if the Muslim they say that we worship the same God of the Christians is that a is that a reason to believe that this is a true God <laughs> you know too much hashish too much falafel too much hash hash where is the answer until now we get zero answer about what is the reason for Allah to be God if there is any Muslim <coughs> huh? he would like to call me please feel free you can call me at uh, debate TV at Skype where uh, my Skype is on you do not need to add me just find the name and give me a ring and you will be live on air so as you see five reason but none of them make sense none of them have to do with the reasoning although vital difference remain Christians and Muslim believe about God are significant uh, significant okay more similar than uh, okay well, what is what, what is the reason for Allah to be God anyone until now saw the reason for anyone to believe that Allah is God and look what they say here look at the lies God command that we love God with our whole being hmm God command that we love our neighbor as ourselves. I want to see that. Where is that? Where is that? I want to see that. Where is that, Muslim? Where we can find the teaching of love in Islam? My neighbor is a Jew. Am I allowed to love him? My neighbor is a Christian. Am I allowed to love him? That is an absolute lie. Chapter 5, verse number 14 in the Quran says that Allah, He will spread hate and enmity between the Christians. One to two, so will heat, they will hate each other until the judgment day. Chapter 5, verse number 51 says, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Actually, in Islam, even your parents, you cannot love them if they are not Muslims. Even your father and your brother from your blood. Chapter 9, verse number 23. So, this article is nothing but a bunch of garbage have nothing to do with the answer what is the answer for Allah being the true God until now we get nothing maybe the answer can be found that Allah he made the special verses for the testicles of Muhammad and for his penis I mean obviously this God he worked for the sake of Muhammad testicles have you ever heard of a God making chapters saying any women Muhammad he wanna if her she have to open her legs for him and this is a privilege only for the penis of the Prophet I mean this is obviously is coming from God not it's a prophet who is horny trying to sleep with every woman around no 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 it is God this is God man this is the God of a Playboy magazine and the, the and the porn hero here is Muhammad I mean Muhammad he wanna sleep with everybody what do you think you think he's a prophet he will accept to sleep only with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to thirteen fourteen fifteen no way this is a prophet of God prophet of gods they have special penises you can't be a prophet unless you sleep with everybody 
and actually even Muhammad he brag about the ability of him screwing around somebody is saying what is the source of that uh, source of what uh, guys uh, when you give me a question make the sentence clear like your source of what you know so I can answer you because we spoke about many things if there is any Muslim please feel free call me and let us see why Allah is a true God uh, maybe because he said the women she have a sperm that is a proof that Allah is God maybe because he said in one verse in the Quran that he created the earth first and the sky first in the other verse which means is God they don't even don't even remember what he finished first uh, maybe because the God of Islam you know he said beat your wife I mean this is a, this is an ultimate wisdom after you beat your wife treat her like you know actually in America if you beat a dog you go to jail in Islam if you beat your wife you're a good man and you know the funny the Muslim they say to us oh no Islam teaching you to beat your wife li lightly you know I mean uh, uh, the, 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 the whole point of this beating is to punish her so what lightly and why you want to beat her lightly anyway let us say for the sake of argument it's lightly who are you to beat her you think she is like a uh, they will say to you okay if you have a child and uh, he is uh, misbehaving what do you do you spank him right ah you marry children so you spank them all right this is the logic since when beating women will make a good family and since when beating women will make the women behave she will hate you she will cheat on you she will leave you who said to you that if you beat your wife is going to be for the benefit of the family? Who is the donkey is teaching you such a logic? She's a human being. She have a feeling. What do you mean I want to beat her? So, you know, I am questioning the Muslims. Why Allah is God? Then nobody can tell us. If there is any Muslim around would like to give us a call. Who is a Muslim? He is willing to give us a call and tell us one reason. You see, if you go in YouTube, you will find the Muslims have like 1,000 reason He's speaking about God is uh, Allah. Uh, as an example, miracles of the Quran, scientific miracles of the Quran. I made books. You can find them in Amazon.com. Uh, exposing this lie, not even, not even one of those miracles are true. Not only they are not true, they are stupid and approving Allah again to be a false God if you go right now let me let me find you something <clears throat> so we can love together <coughs> uh, I will search for scientific miracles of the Quran And you see, Muslims, we don't, we don't, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are not the one who run away from speaking about this topic. It's you. You talk about it only if the person in front of you, he have no idea what Islam is about. The second you meet somebody, he knows Islam very well. He speak Arabic very well. He, you know, he, he know what he's talking about. Nobody want to talk about the scientific miracles of the Quran. Nobody. Why? Give me a reason. In the front of me here, let me show you in the screen. I just searched and I come with this. <coughs> Look at this. Advanced speed of light. The Quran speak about speed of light. You believe it? The gravity, it's in the Quran too. The ants, wingless ants are all females. You believe it? The Quran says that. A human embryo, uh, brain functions in the Quran, pyramid in the Quran, age of universe in the Quran, uh, arithmetics in the Quran, everything in the Quran. But if you examine one of them, you will die from laughing. And this is my challenge to the Muslims. Who of you Muslims right now will give me a call and choose the hardest of those to refute? Look how many, look, look. Even the atoms in the Quran, you believe it? The atoms, the, the atom in the Quran. 
Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? I am really convinced that I will find the atoms in the Quran. So who is the Muslim when I call us and tell us why Allah is a true God? I'm just trying to find a reason. I say loud and clear in front of all the Muslims who they are watching us right now. Every single article written here is a big scam. And my challenge to you to show me one of them is not a scam. Who is the Muslim when I give us a call? You see, I'm not going to choose my cherries and say, oh, I'm going to talk about this one. Unless you force me to. If nobody called, then I have to choose. Who is the Muslim when I call us? And tell us which one he believe is the most amazing scientific uh, topic it can prove to us that the Quran is a book of God. They know very well that this is a scam. It is a scam. You know, as an example here, this is like an easy one just to just to to show you the scam. Uh, if you look here, it says the ants. Wingless ants are all females. What? Okay, and the Quran spoke about that? Yes, brother. The Quran spoke about that. Let me show you the reverence. All right, I want to see the reverence. You know, I mean, I cannot wait to get the reverence. All right. All male ants have wings. All worker ants are females. All ants do not have wings are definitely females this was only known recently but 1400 years ago in the Quran address and who cannot fly in female mood I like it the female mood thing is that like a mood <laughs> and let me show you how stupid the one not only how actually they're not stupid they are smart they're trying to fool you because you don't speak Arabic it says chapter 27 verse number 18 enter when they come upon the valley of ants my brother once i was walking down street la 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 and i arrived to the valley of ants i mean from the beginning of the story it's about fiction and stupidity have you ever heard there is a valley it's called the valley of ants i mean who is the stupid crazy here the valley of ants why there is there is not even one spot in this earth there's no ants in it just put some sugar somewhere and you will see the ant immediately there what do you mean the valley of ants is that the state of ants the united state of ants and the president is a trumpo the ant the bigger ant <laughs> This is a fiction story stolen from the legions of the Jews and the dummy Muhammadan. They think this is a true story. It's about Solomon, who have a flying carpet according to Islam, who have a flying horse according to Islam, who control the genie. He have a, he have a, they have a ring in his hand, like the Lord, the Lord of the ring. He control the genies. He control the world by the magic, the black magic. And ha, now Suleiman is approaching the valley of the ants. And look what happened. One of the ants, one of the ants, an ant said for female, and they cite to you here, Qalat, Qalat, O oh, ants, enter your homes so that you do not be crushed by Solomon and his soldier while they do not feel it. I read me carefully. For the word said, Qala, for males, Qalat is for females. The Quran uses female. I mean, you see, guys, I mean, sometimes I feel like I want to shoot myself in the head. You idiot. In Arabic, we have only one word for ants. We don't have male ants. We don't have female ants. And that word is a namla, which means it's a female. The word itself, it's a female, which means when we speak about ants, it doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. We say namla. Do you see how they fool you? So it's very normal to say qalat for this is a female ant as a word, not the ant itself is the female. Do you see how they lie to you? The Arabic language, most of the insect are used or the name for them is females. So 
it's very normal to say qalat for the word after it it's a female word the, the word is a female not the insect as an example what is the word for bees nahla but doesn't matter if it's a male or female but the word nahla is a female word but doesn't mean that the bees itself which is described by that word is a female this is how they lie to you and they made a miracle about a stupid fiction story only donkeys will believe in it uh, I don't want to use a bad language but you know like uh, when I start learning English I heard that the American and English they called the dog the female dog a bitch excuse my language right now it's the same as imagine if you call all all uh, uh, <laughs> All animals bitch, but not the female necessarily. All the all the animals. Let's say we call them all bitch, huh? And then you say a bitch said to a bitch, hide otherwise. He will crush you. But this is the word used for all the bitches in the world. <laughs> Excuse my language. Ah. <laughs> uh. I love it when the Chinese they said he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse and this is the situation for the Abdul so look how they fabricate a, a scientific miracle I mean how Allah he knew that this is a female ant I mean are you kidding me this is must be God this is must be God they will not they will not tell you the truth that this is the word is used for all ants in Arabic with no exception I'm not sure when the last time an Arab guy he checked the balls of the ants so we start to recognize them by uh, their uh, balls <laughs> and this is why actually the animals the insect they are called by one name because you cannot you know for a human being it's very hard to unless you are a scientist uh, to recognize which one is the female and which one is the male I mean for a dog we can tell easy for a cat we can tell easy but for an insect, I mean, you have to be a specialist to know. So this is the Arabic word used for both male and female. And I challenge any Muslim who speak Arabic to call me right now and say I'm wrong. What a bunch of liars. Now, let me show you something. As long as we are talking about ants, here I notice they are talking about the atoms. The atoms in the Quran. Are you sure? Yes, brother. You see it, the atoms? Uh, brother the atoms the atoms do you see it here we go it's in the Quran the fact the Quran never used the word atoms it used the word dharra and the word dharra is an ant <laughs> oh lord oh lord and look here how they fabricate they say that the Quran says that Allah he created you in pairs all things are created in pairs is that scientifically correct Muslims okay I want to ask you the Quran say that Allah he created the mule the mule you know okay what is the pairs of the mule any Abdul Isn't it everything created in pairs? I saw a video made by what is his name? No, Man Khan. He said it's about being relevant. You know, Allah does not mean necessarily female and male. That's a big fat lie. This is what it's meant. They try to cover the mistake, the horrible mistake in the Quran. And they say this is not about male and female. In chapter 16, verse number 8, it says, Well, here will be Ralu, well, Hamir, Ritar Kabuha, was Zinatan, or Yahlu, Mala Talamu. Chapter 16, verse number 8. Allah created what? Created the mule, the horses, the donkeys hmm? to ride it. But you just told me that Allah created from everything in pairs, and that is male and female. So, what is the male? Or female mule have you ever heard of a female mule what is the female paramecium there is many uh, one unit 
uh, sale creatures who they live and they don't have sexual organ and they don't do sex they just split and actually they are the major population of this earth there is you know if there is only seven billion human being from those creatures little tiny ones there is trillion of trillion of trillion of a trillion so they are the major population but Allah yet did not mention them so everything they come to you is a lie and look here it says it is you who send down rain from the sky I'm so glad that you said that but my friend the rain is not coming from the sky but let me tell you what Allah he said about rain and hail according to the Quran and this is one of the reasons to believe that Allah is true God because he knew where the hail is coming from according to the Quran hail is coming from mountains in the sky what yes and this is a proven by science it says here when you read the Muslim translation they fabricate the translation and they change it so they say Allah he sent down from the sky ice from a cloud like mountains it does not say that liars it does not say that and let me get you busted by going to the interpretation chapter 24 verse number 43 24 <clears throat> Where is the Muslims until now until now we got no Abdul to call I mean what's what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong Huh what is the Abdul This is the Islamic interpretation for the verse not my statement all right All right let us see what the Interpretation says. Okay. Um. This one here is not really clear. What is the mountains? I don't see the mountains. Mm. Hold on. It has changed to Ibn Abbas. <coughs> All right. Read with me here carefully. He sends down from the heaven mountains where in is hail. Oof, 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 oof. This is pure science. I mean, seriously, this is a pure science. Who can reject this? Who can go against this? He sent the hail from mountains in heaven. How he sent it? Read carefully. He says. He sent down hail from mountains in heaven. I was wondering all my life where the hail is coming from. I thought in the beginning that Allah, he opened his freezer and he grabbed some ice and he throw it at us. But it turned to be Allah don't do that. Allah have mountains of hail. He break some every day and he throw it to us, especially in the springtime. And obviously, this is a coming from the true God. I mean, who can here refute this? You cannot refute that Allah is scientist. This is a pure science. Isn't it, Muslims? Who can really, who can tell me here that Allah is, is mistaken? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know how Allah made it. Nobody. I mean, this is a pure science, man. Allah, he sent hails from mountains in heaven. Hey, by the way, guys, if you want to sign. Okay, hold on. We have we have somebody calling. Ah, we lost you. Uh, 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 please, uh, if you want to call, sometime the name of the caller appear on the screen, and this is not in my control. So if you want to use different name, nickname, don't don't use a real name when you call me in Skype unless you like it's up to you uh, I'm not interested of real names of anyone uh, but it's up to you so who is the Muslim want to call us and tell us what's happening how the true God of Islam if he is a true God 
he says such a stupid thing what is the science why the Muslim did not make an article and videos about this that Allah he sent hail from mountains any Abdul mountains of hail are you sure any Muslim have a to answer us and you know and the Arabic by the way is it clear in Arabic it says it clearly exactly the same as you see in English but when you go and read the translation of the funny Abdul in English they try to hide this disaster so they say to you Allah he sent hail from between cloud like mountains it doesn't say that why you are lying what cloud like mountains where is like and where is what are you talking about it says with a clear Arabic words from mountains in it and that is coming from old legions people they used to believe in it that God he have a lot of ice there and obviously there is mountains they saw ice all right let's see we have a caller hello hello Hello. Okay, well, I have to hang up on you if you don't answer, my friend. Let me see. Let me be sure that everything is fine. The audio is fine. Okay, well, I don't hear you, so I have to hang up on you. Let me be sure that Skype did not change the setting. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> Audio and video the Speakers built in but out Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't know why he cannot we cannot hear him anyway If you don't want to talk don't call me do we have any Abdul Do we have any Abdul would like to call Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Are you getting me fine? Yeah, I hear you now. You are live on air. Everybody can hear you. What do you want to say, my friend? Okay. So, I'm I'm Christian. All right. And I live in one of the most populated Muslim countries. Mm -hmm. So there's this thing that I meet very nice people, I have very nice Muslim friends, and mm -hmm. there's this thing that I find very offensive about them. Every time they attack me about my religion, so I was requesting if you can make maybe a video on how to silence them, because every time I go to class, everywhere I go, they attack me based on my religion. So I don't know if this is the Islamic doctrine, or I don't know what's your take on it. So you are saying to me, when you go to school, etc., the Muslim they attack your belief, right? Yeah, they attack my belief everywhere. So okay, how uh, do uh, I learn how to answer them? Just them. watch my videos, and you will learn how to answer them. Very simple. I have thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube. Watch every every video have a topic, and you will learn, and then you will learn how to answer them. Islam is a very stupid religion. It's very easy to answer it. Islam is the, yeah. is the most stupid religion ever exist. You know? Yeah. So you do not need to be a genius yeah. really to learn how to answer it. However, you need some knowledge about this cult and yeah. you will see how easy it is to answer it. Just watch my videos, you know, and yeah. uh, you will be uh, doing great, you know, uh, like today, you know, as an example. Ask them what kind of God he said that Allah he sent uh, 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 hail from mountains in heaven. I mean, how stupid this God is, you know? So just watch, uh, watch yeah, and learn, and uh, and, uh, and uh, there's another thing also I noticed about them. Most of them, I don't know, it's brainwashing. I don't know what happened because there's a day some lady came to me. She was she wanted to forcefully forcefully convert me to Islam. She was telling me just accept. We go. 
And so all of a sudden, I told her, I told him, I told her, I told her that do blood draws. So yes, then I told her, for my level, I couldn't go according to you know, my, 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 my friend, your voice is cutting. I, I cannot really understand anything. Uh, my friend, your voice is cutting badly. I cannot understand oh. anything. But, but anyway, it doesn't matter what they say to you. The, the method to refute the Muslims is very simple. Just learn about Islam. As I said, I have, I have books in Amazon.com. You can get them. But if you want something for free, yeah. you know, let's say you can't yeah. afford to get my books. However, my service is for free. There, I have thousands and thousands and thousands. Uh, me myself, I do not know how many thousand videos I already made to expose this now. Yeah. So my videos are all over uh, video uh, YouTube. F you know, uh, yeah. uh, watch and learn and take notes and educate yourself. Education is the is the key. It's not just talking. You talk is cheap. You know. That's why when Muslims yeah. they speak to me, they look like fool because simply they are copy paste. Nobody uses his brain and nobody have education about his cult. They told them things, yeah. they copy from each other, but nobody knows if you ask him a simple question, he do not know how to answer you. So for you as a person who is living in Islamic countries, you would have a lot of a pressure on you. The only way is to learn, educate yourself. Ignorance is a problem, you know? You cannot find yeah. an illness or disease and you do not know what the sickness is, right? You need to know what, like, you know, if you go to the doctor, he start asking you a question before he give you the medicine. He don't give you the medicine and then he let you go home, no. Because every disease have uh, medication, so Islam is the same. Yeah. Islam is a is a is a is a sickness, and before we answer yeah. somebody, we need to know first what his problem. If 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 a Muslim he says to you how you worship a, a man as an example, well his God yeah. is his God is a is a physical being and he's a he's a beast. He have a leg, he have an eyes, he have a body, he have shoulders, he have two hands, he have foot. Yeah, yeah, he have five fingers, so you need to learn this. Then you tell him, yeah. okay, so, if you if you so, refuse Jesus, so I wanted, I, yeah, I, I don't know if you're getting me well. Yeah, I hear you now. I wanted to ask you. So when I when, when I quoted when I quoted the verse on on Corinthians about love, the lady told me also in the Quran. I don't know if that's true. I don't understand. I do not understand what you said. When they quote us about what? Uh, the, the Corinthians, I don't know if it's Corinthians chapter 4, the ones that talk about love is kind, love is patient, love is patient, love, does, love is not jealous. Then they told me that the verse is also in the Quran, and I, I should have nothing to worry about. I don't know how true that is. What, 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 what in the Quran? What, what, you know, when somebody says to you in the Quran, it says something, give me the verse, give me the number. Don't tell them, okay. She, she, she. The verse is in the Bible. The verse that speaks about love. The yeah, Corinthian. What, okay, what verse. about it? You know, the whole Bible. The whole Bible, my friend, is about about love. Jesus says, "Love your enemy." So now, when a Muslim he, he brought the uh, topic about love, tell him what's your problem. Do you do you? She, do you she, 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 she quoted Corinthians chapter four. I'm not sure, but the one that talks about love is kind. Love is love is not love does not envy. Love is patient. So what? So what the problem? Yeah, what the problem? What the problem? I understand. She talk about love in the, the Bible, the, and she, she told me that it's also found in their book. Which I book? don't know how to read that. Which book? Which book? Which book? Hello. Which can't get through. She said she it can be found in the book. Which book? She, the verse can also be found in the Quran. It's all, where? Where? It's you know, Quran, you see, you thing. see, my friend. I don't know what's your name. When somebody says we can find in the Quran, tell him where, where, tell him where. I mean, it's not in the Quran only. Tell me which verse, which chapter. We go and see it and we love together. Don't let them fool you and say to you, it is in the Quran. The Quran is full of crazy stuff. What in Quran? I want to see it. So tell him, okay, where, where I can't find it. What in the Quran? It's funny to say to you, it's in the Bible. You need to tell me where in the Bible. It's, it, it, so how come she can quote for you a verse from the Bible speaking about law, but she do not remember the verse in the Quran? <laughs> Okay, thank you. you. You know what I mean? How come she can remember the name of the chapter in the, in the Bible, which book? Huh? In the Bible, our book. Yeah. But she cannot quote for you the chapter in the Quran speaking about love. Where? I want to see it. And, and, yeah. this, and this is your fault. And, and this is and this is your fault, by the way. They, they, listen, they have listen. a lot of knowledge. No, no, my the friend, they, they don't have knowledge. Muslims so, don't have. Muslims don't, don't have knowledge. knowledge. Muslims don't have knowledge. It's your fault. It's your weakness. When somebody says to you something, ask him where. Take notes. It's not just something he said to me and I let it go. So in order to 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 find if this is true or not, you know, I have to do a research. 
so somebody says to me it says this okay where then I will go and search it and I will find if this is true or not I'm not going to take things people they say to you for granted like now when I speak about the Quran say that uh, there is a, a hail coming from mountains I did not just quote uh, say from the Quran I said what verse what chapter I show it in the screen so what I know in the Quran it, there is nowhere is speaking of love it is the opposite actually the Quran says it clearly in chapter 4 uh, you know uh, verse number 14 that Allah he is a specialist in spreading hate and actually he mentioned that many times once about about uh, about uh, the Christians and once about the Muslim uh, the, the, uh, the, the Jews so his favorite topic or favorite uh, uh, job is to spread hate and as you see here we go if you are looking in the screen with me but you know it says this is uh, chapter 5 verse number 14 and this is the Muslim translation you can remember and take note. in chapter 5 verse 14 the Quran says hold on my friend it says Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day so where is the love is that love is that love what what kind of what can what kind of a loving God this God who have no job to do except being busy spreading hate between the Christians when when God he spread hate between the Christians until the judgment day what is that going to benefit the earth and if this is what Allah he does what what is the job of Satan then if Allah is the one who spread hate between the Christians what Satan exactly is doing at that time taking a vacation he go to Hawaii to swim he go to Hawaii to take selfie with the with the with the beautiful girls Allah is doing the job of the devil here for Allah is the one who spread hate not only between a certain group all the Christians until the judgment day this is how much hateful this devil which is called Allah so my friend when somebody says something to you educate yourself first before you talk about it and that's why I'm saying to you watch my videos take notes don't just watch and let it go because later you will ask yourself oh he told me a verse about hate in the Quran and now I don't remember it. So you take notes. Okay. Or you memorize okay. it. You you, yeah, you okay. learn. Finally, finally, before I go, yeah, there's this thing that they also do. Uh, whenever I try putting an uh, uh, hadith, they refute it by saying that we stick on the Quran. It should not quote the hadith. How should they respond to that? The the response is very easy. Say to them if the if the hadith is a lie, what is the guarantee that the Quran itself is not a lie? Isn't it collected in the same way? Both the hadith and the Quran, both of them they are hadith because the Quran itself is a hadith. The Quran says that the best of the hadith is the Quran. All right. So both uh, are hadith. So uh, how come this one is is, uh, is accurate, the other one is not accurate? And if they say that the the the, uh, the hadith is full of lies, that means the Muslims are liars. So how we can trust the Quran anyway? How we can trust? followers of religion who fabricate things about their prophet and who is the one who fabricate uh, them and why they are uh, exist in, in books it's called correct books like uh, Bukhari so as you see here in front of me it says in uh, uh, in chapter 39 verse number 23 Allah uh, al-hadithi kitaba. Allah he sent down the best of the hadith as a book so the Quran itself is a hadith so if I say that uh, the hadith is rejected then the Quran is rejected because the Quran itself is a hadith and it's collected in the same way by memorizing both are collected in the same way by memorizing there is no written book it's called the Quran exist for the first at least 300 years after Muhammad okay thank you all right you're welcome my friend thank you watch my videos watch my videos my friend and collect your information put them together you know the Muslims are very well trained deceivers, but they are stupid in the same time. But if you have no idea, they can play games with you, and this is the case. Most of people they have no idea what Islam is about. They don't know even what Christianity is about. Many of those who call themselves Christians, they are they have a Christian names, but they are not Christians. They don't know anything. They don't know how to answer about the Bible. They don't even what who is Jesus. So the Muslims they target always the soft target. This is why they want to debate you. But they want to debate me. Here we go. I'm live on air. Where's your friends? Where's your friends who want to debate you? Why don't you call me? We are waiting for them. 
And you know, the, the hadith is corrupt, the hadith is corrupt, Islam is corrupt because who is the one who wrote the hadith? Isn't it the Muslims? Who is the one who collect it, make it a book, publish it, put it in library and never burn it? The Muslims, how come those books were approved and they are correct and they are called Sahih, which means correct? <laughs> the funny, we showed them a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari. It's, it's the name of the book Sahih, which means correct. This is what the word Sahih in Arabic mean, correct. So it is correct. The name of the book is correct. It is number one book for them of the Quran. And then when we show them something stupid in that, they say we don't accept it. Okay, what you will do then with the Quran? Here we go. We are showing you the Quran saying stupid things too. Do you accept it? What you will say, the Quran is corrupt too. Actually, many of the Muslims already they are saying, yes, the Quran is already corrupted. Just to defend Muhammad and to defend the stupid religion of Islam. All right. Now we have a we have a funny person. His name uh, he have no name. He says Jesus is dead. Hmm. You know I, I don't know uh, I don't know how how uh, how stupid some some people is. If Jesus is dead or not, what does this have to do with the topic? Let us say let us say this is your opinion. And but are we talking about Jesus right now? Call me. Let us laugh. What is your religion? Jesus is dead. <laughs> what does this have to do with my topic? <laughs> oh boy <laughs> yeah it's all right it's all right I feel sorry for his mommy you know uh, some you know sometimes mothers they suffer a lot uh, for after having a certain kind of kids I feel sorry for mothers do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Any brave Muslim would like to call us live on air? I hope I'm not insulting by saying brave Muslim. Anyone? Anyone? So until now, the Muslim they fail to show us one reason that Allah is God. You know, maybe I have to play a Muslim for some time and try to find your reason to believe Allah is God. Hmm? Let us try to find a reason for Allah to be God. Let us see what is the reason for Allah to be God. What is the reason? What is the reason? Uh, what is the reason? Yeah, you can call if you want, no problem. <coughs> I answered you in Arabic. Do we have any Abdul? No Abdul? Mm. Today we are short of Abdul. I thought today I'm going to get like a bunch of Abduls all together. That's uh, that's not right. I mean, look like the Muslims they have no. Uh... Hello. Hello, hi. Yes, my friend. How are you doing? How are you? I'm so sorry. Let me put the volume down on this one. Sorry, I had to. I had my laptop on. It's alright. How are you, bro? You alright? It's alright. Everything is good. All right. That's that's good to hear. Um, um I won't be. <laughs> long uh thank you because i know you you're doing your your thing um basically um reason why i called is that sometimes especially we christians we we assume things when it comes to islam you know we assume a lot of things so uh, when we're having a discussion with the muslims because we know certain things uh, in christianity we assume things for example, we, we assume that Allah is a spirit. We assume, you know, certain things when it comes to Islam very quickly. Um, so I was listening to one of your debates, which you made a couple of years ago with uh, those two uh, Muslims, sheikhs in America, mm -hmm. uh, Sheikh Malik something, uh, which was a very interesting debate. And basically it was to do with... Um, Muhammad, um, when did Muhammad find out that he was Jibreel? 
and then you were showing a hadith and he was saying oh no but the hadith doesn't mention jibril so the question was like is jibril mentioned by name in quran can we say when did muhammad realize uh, the name of of the angel that he saw you know that he was jibril where is this mentioned so because the question i would have if i'm speaking to a muslim i would i would ask now is that when did muhammad find out that it is jibril who told him you know these sort of questions um that i would ask basically um so i was wondering because you know like i said i was watching the debate and the guy was trying to say, oh, but he's not mentioning Hadith. And then I was thinking, if it, if it is not Jibreel, then why is, why did Muhammad assume that it was Jibreel? You know, it just didn't make sense. He was kind of contradicting himself. Yeah, actually it's in the Hadith. <clears throat> it mentioned how Muhammad recognized the name that he went to Waraq ibn Nawfal and it was Waraq ibn Nawfal uh, who told him that this is the same angel who came to previous prophet and his name is Namus. Or let us say Jibril, uh, you know, which is simply actually a word mean uh, the, the name he uses uh, for an angel. But uh, if you remember the story of uh, of Khadija taking her husband uh, after he, when you know when he been squeezed by the angel in the in the cave, and uh, where he, it mentioned that even he tried to kill himself. Uh, yeah. You will see there that uh, she came to Waraq ibn Nawfal and it was Waraq ibn Nawfal who told him the name of this person who he spoke to and Muhammad he have no idea and here is the, the funny question you know uh, how how uh, Waraq he knew uh, who is this person who came to Muhammad uh, and he was not there he did not see he did not hear he you know he is not a real witness or first hand witness how he was able to recognize uh, who is this person what his name and what and he came previously to other people etc if you read with me here it says uh, here Waraka he said to Muhammad my nephew what you have seen the Prophet described whatever he had seen Waraka he said this is the same Namus ie Jibril the angel who keeps the secret so Muhammad, he learned that this person, his name is Jibreel, from a person who supposedly will go to hell, because this is a Nasara. The Nasara they believe supposedly in the wrong belief. Actually, here it says it clearly that this this person, according to the Muslims translation, he is a Christian. I believe he is Nasara on the Christians, and there is a there is a different Nasara are a Christian cult, let us say, like Jehovah's Witnesses. Actually, they are not even Christian, but they are born, let us say. Uh, it's a cult coming out of uh, uh, the, the true Christianity. So Muhammad himself, he is the last one to know who is this person who spoke to him. And it was a guy who supposedly should go to hell for he believed that Jesus is God. He is the one who told him that the angel name is Jibreel. Now, the question will be for the Muslims, how Muhammad he take what this guy he said for granted? What if it's a different person? How he know? Why it's not uh, a genie, you know, most them believe in genie and genie is not a demon as some Christians they think falsely genie most them believe that genie is a creature created from fire and this is not a spirit uh, So how he know how this guy know who told him and who you know like uh, this is the angel who keeps the secrets. Okay, what secrets? And what? Uh, and and where is the secret he told Muhammad? No, there's nothing. He just told him, read in the name of your Lord, and he squeezed him. How we know that this is an angel? And remember that Muhammad he saw a man. He did not see an angel when he was squeezed. So how Jibril he knew that this man is an angel? What is the sign? Because it's really weird. Because it seems <clears throat> so. It seems that. Khadija was the first person to say that it is an angel. Yes, if and you remember, then, if you remember, and, and Waraka, and yeah. Waraka the, the second person to say that this angel is um, yeah. Jibril. Yeah. Now, one, one, on on the on the discussion that you had, well, it's an old discussion. I don't think you probably remember that much. Is that he was saying that it is not mentioned by the name Jibril. 
but what, what is Namos? Sorry for being silly, but actually, supposedly like, it's know. it's a it's a, like a, a word present an angel. You know, it's like an uh, angel in yeah. Arabic. Yeah. No, this is not an Arabic. This is this is. Uh, uh, I think it's copied from the old Aramaic. Old Aramaic. Okay. Yeah. All right, because I never heard it, so that's why. Yeah. And also, I want to say. Um, there's a brother who does quality videos in Speaker's Corner and basically I've spoken to him um, and he said you can basically use his videos you know if you want to because um, they do certain debates there so if you want to you don't have to worry about the copyright or anything like that you know well, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I prefer it, not to use any one videos because you never know. Sometimes people they get upset from you tomorrow, and they <laughs> so let us stay safe. No problem. And, you know, and, uh, <laughs> we are we are doing we are doing good without anyone. No problem. You know. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, yeah. like I said, is uh, a Christian brother that. Um, no, not I him. Know. Not him. Maybe the Muslim he can say I, I'm in the video there, and he you know. It, it stays no, safe. no, no. I can't. He can't. He can't. The Muslim can't because the speaker's corner. You're allowed to film. Mm. Okay. Um, so it's, the filming is no problem. You're you're allowed to film, so it's not an issue. Yeah, all right. Um, we will see. I've, I've done I've done live live video there as well. You, filming is no problem. In UK, you can film in public, and you can you don't have to ask permission. Yeah. So and you can even put it on TV. You don't have to ask permission on anybody. So it's it's okay. Um, one of the guys that debates there, his name is Bob the Builder. I actually he's very good. He's a nice guy. I've spoken to him a few times. I met him last time. Uh, I actually gave him your book, uh, Quran and Science in Depth, uh, to to read. Uh, he debates a lot with Muslims, and he's very good. Uh, so, um, hopefully, he will he will learn a few things. Uh, but he's an intelligent guy. So now, um, the channel is Soka Films. Like I said, he's a Christian brother that I know. Send me I mean, send me a link. Send me a link in the Skype, and I will, I will take a look and see. You know. You know, because I, I, I actually like when you go over uh, debates and you yeah. correct the people. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, but because I, you can I, learn, I you can learn away. from it. I can personally learn yeah. where another person made a mistake right. and that sort of stuff. So, right. yeah, it's Soko Films. Somebody just posted there. It's a Soko Films. He's, 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 a, he's a brother, like I said. He's a brother that I know. Um, nobody will... Uh, claim copyright or anything. Yeah, all right. Uh, and actually, <coughs> I'm looking to do certain videos with him uh, in hopefully in future. Uh, so um, yeah, um, just good. that I wanted to know, let you know. Tell him. So, he, feel free to call me if you like, and if you have questions, etc. Maybe we can help him. It, and we encourage okay. all Christians who they are doing the the good work, you know, to educate yourself before you you talk, because you know the of Muslims. Course. Are very well trained deceiving people who try to trick you, and they use your ignorance. So uh, the, the the weakness always is the ignorance. It's not you as a person. All of us we have a brain. All of us we have eyes, etc. The problem is how much you know. The more you know, the more you. And we, and we never ask the Muslim to say, "Show me." Yeah. Uh, you know, we never say, "Show me where it says that in Quran." Yeah. They, yeah. they say a lot of things. Which yeah. Is not. In their teaching, all right. Like but, the guy but, but earlier. Nobody asked all you where. Have to do is show me. <coughs> show me and, and prove it. Show. And prove it. Yes. Show yeah. me. Yeah. I've seen that so many times when people are debating, and I'm thinking, why don't you? The guy just made four or five false claims in 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 seconds, in a matter of seconds, and the guy is not saying show me. Yeah. You know, he's saying that oh, we believe that a child will um will go to heaven. No, that's not true. Because it's a child, and that's not you know that's what I mean. It's not yeah. true. And yeah. I was thinking. Why do you just assume that just because you're a Christian, you don't assume that it's the same? And this yeah. is why one of the reasons why I called is that uh, if you're able to do a series on certain things that you think that Christians or non-Christians or other people think that it means something on Islam, for example, genie being a shaitan or, or Satan, uh, or that Satan is one, but when we know that Satan is more than one in Islam, yeah. apparently, or something like that, so these misconceptions, if you're able to do any series or any videos, uh, sometimes you may not remember. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I should make a small, like, tiny book, maybe like 50 pages about uh, a misconception about Islam, th uh, things that Christians they take for granted, which is not true. And I will say, I will think about this idea. Because, uh, as you said, but this is not the fault of normal Christian, by the way, even those who claim to be priests or ministers, 
they are full of ignorance when it's come to Islam they think they think Islam is really uh, they have the same God as the Christians many of them uh, they think many of them they teach in churches that Muslims are from Ishmael <laughs> which is false and funny uh, they believe that Muhammad is from Ishmael too uh, they believe that demon is a genie uh, they believe that uh, uh, the Muslim believe uh, exactly in the same thing except that they don't believe in Jesus to be God but Islam have nothing to do with Christianity everything is wrong even the names the titles the persons the history the details everything is upside down uh, uh, you know this, this is what I mean there's, there's loads of misconception a lot but this that, is not the that, fault of the Muslims only it's the fault of a Christian teachers who teach in churches who teach you in the church false stuff not because they are being let us say false teachers but because they are ignorant who cannot I mean and, and I think and I think mis loads of Muslims would not know a lot of these stuff right, lots right. of Muslims they yeah, just but, assume but the Christian so that's teacher, why I said this sort of thing would be quite important because lo lots of Muslims would assume uh, certain thing that they think they just heard like like for example actually even when you asked uh, that that those two scholars one of them said he's a professor and a doctor and the other one was a, an Imam a sheikh when you asked them if I actually you asked the question is Allah a spirit or a thingy and there's like the guy was scared to answer yeah, uh, I think you 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 killed it because you said to him, uh, "Allah is not a spirit," and then he got scared and he said, "Allah knows best." So he was just trying to avoid the topic. It's right. just, you and, know, and this they is supposedly. Know I, I know you are talking about who you are talking about, Doctor Doctor Nabil Baikli. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who he is the head of, the head of the Islamic Center of Tennessee, and the Imam of the Mosque of Tennessee. Both of them, they were in big trouble. For very simple, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of posting the video, so I'm trying because the, the note is uh, the the audio that it is in, already in YouTube. Mm. Uh, it has uh, the the noise background and stuff, so I'm trying to reduce the noise and and do it yeah. into one. This was a radio. Part right? part. This is was a radio debate, not uh, not a YouTube. Yeah, radio yeah, yeah that's what I mean. It's a radio debate, but yeah. the noise and then it's got a little bit of noise. And I'm then trying you, to hit the yeah, noise so not, it makes it more clear. You notice that uh, the host of the radio, he asked them if they are willing to do de another debate the, the week after, they refuse. You know? I wanted to ask about that, actually. Yeah, they, yeah, ran, they, they ran away. Did, did they come back? Because they said, no, yes, no, they, no, they said, we they will said, come and we like no, education and we like teaching. Yeah, and I was no, no, thinking, <laughs> no, they said we, can, we, 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 uh, we, uh, we did not agree about that, we didn't say, and they refused to come. No, they refused because simply they, you see, when they come, they, they, they thought, uh, they will debate a Christian person, just a Christian well, person it, who they have definitely a... thought that because at the beginning of the debate, the guy goes, "Well, uh, I'm not sure if our opponent, obviously, he's not more as knowledge as as knowledgeable as us, so you know, if he's willing to learn." I was thinking, well, he actually knows more than you, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's very funny because he assumes that you don't know much at the beginning right. of a debate. Actually, so this that's is why, why I really laughed. <laughs> this is why they they agree to debate. After that, they will never debate me no more. You know, of course. And actually, this is why I have hard time to find Muslim to debate me because my videos is all over. It's like your repetition speed you. You know, so you're you, a victim of your own success. All right. So like you have to find somebody uh, he don't know about you. But how you can do that? I mean, they will search in two seconds in Google, and he will find endless number of uh, information, and he will say to himself, "This is not. This is a stupid idea to debate this guy." You know? Okay. Um, this is why you see Shabir Ali. Uh, Shabir Ali, he have no problem to debate David Wood every two weeks. You know, but he will never ever make a mistake and debate me. You know that David. You know, even even I'm not talking about David is doing good or not. This is not the topic. I'm saying. No. For him, it's a, that is a safe debate, but even it's David, safe. It yeah, it, it doesn't but, get but, but even David yeah, would, uh, Shabir Ali, he, he cannot handle him, even David. So imagine what will happen if he debate me. So they avoid somebody. Number one, he speak Arabic very well. He know more than them. They knew exactly how, what he can do. What kind of harm is he is going to do? And okay, they, uh, we have a Muslim. I think he wants to call you, so I don't want to take your um, no problem um, <laughs> your, your your time. I really appreciate it. Sorry, just um, wanted to ask the questions and stuff like that. So, no all right, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Okay. All right. If there is a if there is a Muslim trying to call, please feel free, and I will be happy to have your call live on air. You know, uh, Muslims are people who do not know Islam, and if there is somebody he knew some about Islam, he tried to play games and not to answer. You know, you remember yesterday we have uh, 
what his name a uh, nightmare let me let me get what he said he said that a Christian prince trying to prove me wrong from and he named the sheikh name and he said that this sheikh believed that uh, uh, Muhammad is not dead and Muhammad is alive and he is not a human hold on let me show you and actually if uh, this guy nightmare is uh, is there please give us a ring so we can laugh a little bit all right <clears throat> but just to show you the stupidity of the Muslims you know the, the the point is when a Muslim he open his mouth he right away start humiliating his religion immediately it doesn't take really long before you notice that a Muslim when he speak he is saying stupid things and it can hurt Islam badly uh, I will take a snapshot of uh, of what this guy said and put it in the screen. <clears throat> Actually, I did pin his his uh, his words. I, I made it in the top of his. Uh, here, here we go. <clears throat> All right, let me show you what this guy said in the screen. All right, look with me. I will make it big so you guys can see it and read it. Nightmare Barber, two hours ago, and it is edited for sure by him. Lul, the donkey, is now using heretics such as an Imam Ahmad Rida Khan to refute me. Lul, this Ahmad is from India. Okay, is that? Make a difference if he is from India? Yes, because he is not an Arab. That's mean he is a he is a second citizen in Islam. Believe that the Prophet is not dead. So he is heretic. Why? Because he believed the Prophet is not dead. Now is a nightmare Berber is listening? Are you there? If all the prophets in Islam are dead, then how you explain to me your prophet when he went to the seven heaven? And remember, you are the one who is calling this guy heretic. For believing in such a thing how you're a prophet when he went to heaven he saw Abraham he saw Moses he saw Isa he saw Ishmael he saw everybody how all the prophets are dead and the Quran confirmed that all the prophets did die so how when Muhammad he went to heaven he saw them so who is the heretic here if nightmare is listening, I hope he will give us a call so we can laugh at the stupidity of Islam. As I said, Muslims are a bunch of idiots. The second they start opening their mouth and talk, they do poo poo. They don't give an answer. They drop a load of poo poo. And now look what he's saying. And he is not a human being. Okay, well, hold on. If he believed that Muhammad is not a human being, he is a heretic correct all right well what the Quran says about Muhammad the Quran described Muhammad as a light and the Shia they believe Muhammad is a light and the person he he, he himself he named him this guy from India he is a Muslim Sunni so Shia and Sunni many of them they agree that Muhammad is made from light He knew the future. He controlled the universe. This is not true. Actually, you go to his website. It doesn't say that. And he called the Muslims who don't agree with him kuffar. This is what all Muslims do, not only him. Any Muslim don't agree with the other group. They call him kafir. But this guy is a Muslim Sunni. You know, uh, uh, the Muslim they try to throw loads at each other, but nobody have an answer. If Muhammad is just a human for you, why the name of Muhammad is hooked up with the name of Allah? As an example, let us clean the screen and show you how Muslims, they consider Muhammad equal to Allah. 
I will give you just an example, small example. Hamadi asked one of his followers, "Where then, where the sun goes?" And this example, you know, uh, you can find it everywhere. All right. Each time Muhammad he says something, the Muslims they give Muhammad an answer, which is the like I say, the normal consistent answer. If Muhammad he's saying, okay, where the sun goes, as an example, not necessarily about this case. Read with me carefully. Muhammad he said, when the sun was setting, do you know where the sun goes? At the time of the sunset, I replied. Allah and his apostle know better, know best. Okay. You tell me that Muhammad is not, is just a human. And you believe that the one who believe Muhammad is not human is heretic. How Allah and the human Muhammad, they knew best. Imagine you guys, I ask you, like now our brother, he was calling. And I say to him, do you know where the sun goes? He said to me, God and Christian Prince knows best. What? Who is a Christian Prince? I understand if you say God knows best, but I don't understand you saying to me that Christian Prince knows best. You know what I mean? The Muslims, they worship Muhammad. They claim that the knowledge of Muhammad is the knowledge of God, and the knowledge of God is the knowledge of Muhammad. And here we go, Muhammad, claiming that he knew where the sun goes and set. And according to him, the sun goes every day from the east to the west, and then sleep under the throne of Allah, and cover itself by a blanket, and start snoring, snoring. And in the morning, it wake up, and ask Allah for permission to go back to work. Right? But remember, Allah and His apostles know better. So the Muslims, they associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of the Prophet. And they made them equally. You know, equal. You see, the guy did not say Allah knows best and stop. No. He said, Allah and his up. Do you see any Muslim oppose this statement? Nobody. Uh, and Muhammad himself did not oppose it. Like, why Muhammad did not say to him, don't say that, man. Don't say Allah and the Prophet knows best. Say Allah knows best. You see, Muhammad, he liked it. Muhammad, he continued talking. He did not say to him anything about what he said. And you can find the same statement, Allah and the, and the Apostle know better or knows best all over the Hadith. So why the Muslim don't complain about such a statement, which is obviously associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man, and he is a human being. The Muslim, they teach us that the name of Muhammad is written all over the throne of Allah. Why? Allah himself is worshipping Muhammad. He took time. We do not know for how long because his throne is so big. And he started crafting over his chair the name of Muhammad. Why Allah want to craft the name of Muhammad? <coughs> Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? All right, fix your Skype, please, and call me back. Please, uh, guys, test your microphone before you call. To be sure that you you know we will hear you so so Muhammad if he is just a human I mean obviously the whole universe Allah and his messengers are praying at Muhammad the believer praying for the sake of Muhammad uh, uh, Muhammad is the center of the whole universe Allah making chapters and verses for the testicles and the penis of Muhammad uh, uh, Muhammad when he go to heaven Allah will marry him the most important women on earth as an example Muhammad he told them that Allah married me to marry the mother of Jesus I mean why why was what does that mean and not only that the wife of the Pharaoh what hello 
Hello. Yes. Go ahead. I hear you. Our life. Our life on air. Hello. I hear you, my friend. What do you want to say? You are live on air. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of debate? Sorry. Uh, are you a Muslim? Connected. I I connected on debate TV. Yes, yes, you are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Uh, so, what kind of debate are running there? I don't understand. Are you a Muslim? I I am here. I am from India. Here. Yes. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I am Muslim. Okay. What do you want to say to us, Mister? Uh, I don't know what's your name. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. People are listening. Uh, my name is Rahman. Your name is Noaman. Amar Rahman. Um, Amar. Amar. Maybe you can type your name for me. If your camera is on, turn it off. That will make your voice better. I don't, I'm not interested to see a camera, please. So tell me okay, what's okay. tell me what's your name. We can you can my yeah my name is Osama Rahman. Osama Rahman. Okay, Mr. Osama Rahman. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Rahman? Uh, <laughs> what do you think about the Prophet? He knows best. Do you think the Prophet he knows best? Yes. Of it. Yes, I'm saying that uh, uh, I have seen that about that debate are running that about profit. Yeah. Mm. So do you think the prophet he knows best? Here he claimed that he knows where yes, the sun. Yes. He, 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 he knows, knows best. Yes. Yes. Okay. But the, as you see here, he claimed that the sun every day go from the east to the west. Is that correct? Do you yes, agree? That is correct. Why? Why is correct? The sun doesn't go anywhere. How how this is correct? Uh, actually, for sun, sun sun is sun is the <coughs> actually sun is the biggest of the earth. Ah, the sun is bigger than the earth. Okay, and but what does have to do with the question? Than, yeah, sun is sun is the big than the earth. Uh huh. And uh, and the moon moon is the is smallest than earth. Uh huh. Okay, but this what has nothing to do with my question, my friend. My question is: uh, yes. Do the I sun goes? Do I, the, I, I, listen, I, I, I'm giving a explanation to you. Right. Yeah. But the mm. sun goes every day. Does the does, does the sun goes every day mm. around the earth, from the uh, east to the west? The yeah. Uh, around the earth. Okay. But here, Muhammad is saying, the sun goes every day from the east to the west, and the sun sleep under the throne of Allah. Is that is that accurate according to science? Account according to science, that is uh, doubtful. You are saying that. That's doubtful. Okay, so the science don't agree with Muhammad, correct? Uh, yeah. Muhammad, so, Muhammad knows everything. God, God, Muhammad is not saying anything without uh, Allah says. Correct. Correct. So Allah, He told him that. Uh, thank you. Uh, so yeah. Allah told him that the sun goes every day in the morning and go all the way mm -hmm. travel, i.e., from the east mm -hmm. to the west. But this is scientifically very false. So don't you think Muhammad here is not is lying? According to Hadith, according to Hadith, yeah. according to Quran, hmm. according to Hadith and according to Quran, Prophet is not saying anything to own. What? I know, I know, I get that from you. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Nothing from his own, I know. So now Muhammad he claimed that this is coming from his God, but this is mean Allah is a false God, for this is a false hmm. statement. Yes. So Allah is false. Allah, Allah, Allah is the creator. Allah you is you no see, my friend, how Allah is the creator, but yet he think wrongly that the sun goes every day from the east to the west. How he can be the creator, uh, but yeah, he do not know a yeah. simple thing. Sun, 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 sun goes everywhere. Sun, <coughs> God, uh, uh, the earth rounded. Okay, so you are, you are sun. saying the sun goes every day in the morning from the east to the west around the earth. You believe in that? Uh, around the earth. That that is the correct sentence. What do you doubt? Well, the, because this is not the the science don't agree with this. The science believe this is stupid. The science doesn't so believe in that. The day and the that. night, my friend. The day and the night happen because the mm -hmm. Earth is going around itself, not because the sun is moving from the east to the west. Yeah. Yeah. So how 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 Muhammad he says such a st uh, you know statement? How Muhammad makes such a mistake? As you see here, he said. That the sun, <clears throat> he said, it goes, i.e., the one is talking is Muhammad, travel, 
until it's prostrate mm. itself underneath the throne and takes permission to rise again. So Muhammad, mm. he believed it is the sun who goes, and yes. the sun is the Do one. Is it, and the sun is no, the yeah. one traveling. But this is absolutely false. <laughs> Actually, you actually there, there are two cards according to science. What? First, first you first first you heard about rotation, rotation, rotational motion and uh, uh, normal motion. Uh -huh. You 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 have heard, heard about the rotational motion of the earth. Mm -hmm. okay. How the day, earth, earth, how the day earth, and the earth, night, how the day earth, and the earth, night happen. Motion. How the day. What is the Sun, Rahman, the normal motion. Rahman, Rahman. How the day and the night happen, according to science? Day and night, how they happen? What is causing the day and the night, according to science? What is the cause of day and night? Yeah, what is causing the day and the night, according to science? Like when the sun set, what happened exactly? Do you know? What? What happened? I'm asking you. Do you know? I'm trying to learn from you. Maybe you are more educated than me. Mm. Yeah, What? what happened? What happened means but, uh, uh, once, uh, once, uh, once more, ask to me. How the sun and the day happened, occur, how they occur. What What is causing them to happen? Do you know? So, I, I, I'm saying, I, I'm saying that Earth, uh, Earth has two motions. I mean, uh, Earth has uh, a, one is the rotational mo motion and what is the normal motion rotational rotational mo motion is make earth uh, make make uh, make uh, uh, oh, it's hello yeah, i hear you ah yeah uh, so uh, you understand about the uh, rotational motion means meaning yeah and what make uh, the day and the night happen? My question is very simple. Ah uh, yes. Uh, do, do you know? Yes, yes. I I I, I, I hear your question. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to give you answer. I'm thinking about that. Okay. Mm. Do you want to call a friend? Uh, one minute. Uh, I I have a video I, I want to share with you. Why did uh, why day and night happen? Yeah. Why day and night mm. happen? You know, according to your understanding, mm. what make them happen? Mm. Mm. What is the re what is the reason behind day and night? Why do you happen? Why this, is, this, is, this is not the question. This, this is not yes. the question or the reason behind them. I'm saying how they happen. How they happen? How how they happen? Yeah, how yes, they happen? Yes. How, how the happen how, how the day and, day and the night? Like how, how, yeah, why, why we have day and why we have night? What happened exactly? Ah, ah, yes, yeah. I mean, yes, yeah. I'm giving your answer now. Wait one minute. All right. Well, uh, call me. Call me after you know a few minutes. Go and look for the answer and call me when you are ready. All right. What? Just, just give me a call. Give me, give me a call when you get the answer. You know, this is the example of the Muslims who believe in Islam. I mean, that's a, this is a very simple knowledge, but yet the Muslims they have no idea what they talk about. What uh, you know? Rotation and rotation, rotation. The the Quran is saying clearly there's no rotation. First of all. And Muhammad is saying clearly that the reason for that the sun itself it goes. If we go right now to Google Earth, let us switch to Google Earth. All right. This is Google Earth. And I'm going to show you the the situation right now of the earth as you see. This is the earth, darkness, and the other uh, part, which is USA. South America, etc. Right now, here for me, it's the daytime still. The sun, the, the 
So Muhammad explanation that the sun goes every day is a fiction explanation. And as we saw, we heard Mr. Rahman, he said, everything Muhammad is saying is not from his own. This is coming from God. Muhammad is fabricating news for us, fabricating answers, because there's no way God will say such a thing. All right? So according to Muhammad, wake up in the morning here, and then the sun goes travel to the west. This is the west. And here, there is the throne of Allah, the chair of Allah. And the sun sit down underneath of the throne. And then the sun asks Allah for permission. And the sun permission and the sun goes again from the east, but did not explain to us how this will happen. <laughs> how is going to go and appear in the east again? So because Muhammad is just you know copying from the legions of people exactly happen every day. The sun is moving, but the fact this is have nothing to do with the sun is moving. The sun did not even set. You know, the sunset is a is a is a figure of is, is, is a, like speech figure. It's, it's not real. We say the sunset, but the fact there's no sitting, there's no sun setting. That's that's a that's the illusion of the eye. You know, it's a, but it, it's accepted by us even now. There's no sun is setting. We say the sunset, but this is not scientific. So the, the, the explanation of Muhammad that the sun is going from the east to the west every day is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. How Muhammad makes such a mistake? And remember, Rahman, we heard him saying that uh, everything the prophet he say is not from his own. It's from Allah. All right. Now, if you look with me here in the screen, this is the sun. All right. The sun is here. This is why this part of the earth from here is facing the sun and it is still sunny. But this part here in the other side here is dark because it's not facing the sun. So it's a very simple logic, uh, simple science. It's not like a mystery or something huge to understand. But at that time, the time of Muhammad, people are ignorant, and Muhammad showing his ignorance. However, I am not blaming Muhammad for being ignorant at that time. Maybe if I was exist in his time, I would understand it the same way too, trying to figure out how this happened. But this is not the point. The point is, Muhammad, he claimed that he is getting his information from the Creator, not discussing Muhammad being wrong in science, because I can be wrong in science too, even today. This is not the issue. The issue is I claim to be a prophet of God and Allah and his prophet knows best and everything I say is coming from God and God told me. And then I make such an ignorant statement claiming that God taught me that the sun goes from the east to the west every day and sleep under the throne of Allah. So I hope uh, Mr. Rahman and is listening you know I just give you time to look for the answer uh, as you wish to do but that that will not change anything Rahman. Uh, hello? Yes, um, I, yes uh, I have find uh, your answer okay <clears throat> you said about uh, about that why day and night happen well, we know why day and night no. happen. It's very simple. Ah. The day and night ah. happen because the earth is rotating around itself. Ah. Yes. Okay. So why Muhammad saying the sun is the one is going? Why Muhammad making such a mistake claiming that his God told him that the sun goes every day from east to the west? East to... I mean, when earth moving east to the west, when earth moving east to the west uh, means one round 
वन राउंड मीन्स सन लाइट नॉट पासिस थ्रू द लेफ्ट पोर्सन ऑन द अर्थ सो दैट इज हैपन देयर डे एंड नाइट so it's not the reason the sun is there but your prophet saying that the sun is the one is going and that is very wrong how is the mistake saying that he getting the knowledge from allah so you are saying muhammad did mistake absolutely not only muhammad allah Allah himself, he made a mistake. Allah himself he made a mistake because remember you are the one who told me that Muhammad you don't speak of his own he speak from God right so the one who made the mistake yeah, from God right so the one who made the mistake here actually is not Muhammad supposedly it is Allah who told him that and that is a proof that Muhammad he don't have a God it's a it's a false story Muhammad claiming that he is speaking to yeah. God getting knowledge from God but the fact cannot be true for this is a very false statement coming from a false man Given us false science, a God will not make such a mistake. Will not say such a thing. Um, actually, science. Uh, actually, people are believing on science. If I have a simple question on that, why, why, uh, uh, one minute. Hmm. I have a simple question on <coughs> about our death. Why death can happen? What do you mean by death? Uh, why, why, before, why death after death nothing uh, why death yes. this is a different topic my death. friend we are not talking about death, what is death no no rahman don't change the topic death is very normal mm. thing to happen you know your body cannot able mm. to renew science itself science not prove even uh, uh, no 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 no, no. Uh, see, you see, uh, i am a believer i'm not an atheist i'm not debating you if there is an afterlife or not this is not the question this is not our topic i believe in an afterlife so this is not our topic the topic is how Muhammad is a prophet of God and he says such a stupid thing how he say the Sun goes every day from okay. the east to the west this is the topic as you said he claimed that he is getting actually, this information from his God people, uh, actually people uh, maybe people got the wrong meaning of the Muhammad maybe no no the, the, you see this the story Muhammad. Rahman, Rahman. Right no, 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 no. This is what, this is what Muhammad said exactly in front of our eyes. This is a hadith reported letter by letter, word by word, as it is. So it is not you getting it Are you wrong. By which hadith? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This is Sahih al Bukhari in the front of your eyes, and even Muhammad. Sahih Bukhari. Hadith number three. My friend, and and not only that, Muhammad is quoting the Quran. He says this is an explanation for a chapter thirty-six, verse number. I have it in the screen. Chapter Hadith. He's explaining oh, yeah, a chapter in the Quran, chapter thirty-six, verse number thirty-eight. So this is obviously is coming supposedly the statement of Allah. Look what he said here, and that is the interpretation of the statement of Allah, and the sun runs. It's to its fixed course from term of decree. So, Muhammad for the Quran. So, addition for what Allah said, he claiming that this is what Allah meant when He said that the sun run. He mean that the sun run mm -hmm. every day from the east to the west, and this is why the sun goes and set. And He asked the question during the sunset, as you see here with me in the hadith. So how Muhammad he receives such a false information from his God if this is God and this is Allah And this is the true God for you Muslims how he can be true you mean hmm? you mean why Muhammad said sun goes to the East or to waste yes, why, why? Waste this, this, because this is false. This is false he, he claimed that the Quran Allah told him that the Sun runs every day in a fixed course How he explained that he said the Sun goes every day at the sunset He's asking a guy with him. His name is Abu Dhar. He said to him, "Do you know where the sun goes?" The guy he says, "Allah and His knows best." Every day, I eat trouble yeah. till it's prostrate itself. So the Muhammad, he claimed that it is the sun is moving. 
the Sun, sun it is the Sun who travels absolutely false statement mm. and science is totally is, opposite is actually Sun is uh, yeah. Sun is Sun is not moving that is absolutely wrong I, I, I know that yeah so the Sun Earth, is not moving Earth, thank Earth you moving. okay the Sun Earth is, is moving. the Sun is not moving around the earth in this case every day so yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. Muhammad yeah. so Muhammad here is giving false teaching claiming that he is a prophet mm. of God so how you can believe in him as a prophet then after learning this there's no way he can mm. be a prophet he must be a false prophet what do you think I invite you my friend Rahman to denounce Islam right now and to leave Islam obviously this is going to be a prophet of God this guy is making up stories claiming it's coming from God but it is very simple to understand that there's no way that this is God talk this is this is a guy if, uh, if fooling the, those who they are around him people who they are ignorant at that time they don't know and people believe in what Muhammad said for centuries and centuries but now you know a child he will tell you yeah, mr. Rahman he is down guys is my voice bad is my voice bad do I have a good voice Uh, he's saying his voice is bad. What I can do to his voice? Broken? Ah, okay. Well, maybe, uh, maybe the internet is not good speed enough. Let us see. What we can do? Let us close the, uh, Google Earth. Many applications are running. So anyway, <clears throat> I invite you, Mr. Rahman, to call me back and to denounce Muhammad. And I invite you to believe in the Messiah. Muhammad, obviously, he is making fun of you, lying to you, claiming to be a prophet of God who earned knowledge from God. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, brother. How are you? We are uh, I just want to ask a question. Yes. If Muslims are true or right, why are they hiding? Well, you know, uh, put yourself in their shoes. I mean, it's not easy to be a Muslim, and those questions are being asked. If I am a Muslim, I will hide too. Sure. You know, like the the other guy, Indian guy, you 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 were talking to. He went away, and the yeah, I did when you say denounce Islam. Yeah, you know, somebody saying I have to provide Mr. Rahman more evidence to make him leave Islam. That's not true because if I am a liar in once, I am not a prophet no more. That's it, correct? Mm -hmm. If I prove yeah, a person correct. that this person is lying about him receiving knowledge from God, and then we discover that this story is false, I do not need more reference. However, we have endless, you know, who cares? I mean. I'm just showing him an example. Mm -hmm. Actually, he called me. We were talking about as an example of Muslims sharing knowledge of God with knowledge of man. It was not the topic yeah. to, to speak about the sun sitting as wrong. But he called me during that time. And this is why I asked him this question. However, we have tons of uh, proofs that Muhammad is a false prophet. But one of them is enough. You know? <laughs> yeah. There is no need. You know, if I say to you, if I say to you, God spoke to me yesterday and he told me the sun goes every day from the east to the west and this is how the, the sunset happened you know and that you do not need yeah. you do not need to rest to listen to, to the rest of my story that's it you know that he's a I'm a liar you know that's that's it so mm -hmm. what what more evidence you need you know one reason yeah is enough to prove it no more him. no more evidence right uh, I think you, you should show him the the hadith where Aisha got syphilis Aisha and other it. yeah when Aisha got syphilis and when Ma Muhammad was squeezed by by, by Jibril <laughs> mm. I don't want to change the topic let's focus on one topic for now you know we don't yeah, want, sure we don't want the Muslim to think you are here to make fun of them you know we are here to help the Muslims and not to make fun of anyone 
uh, Muhammad, mm -hmm. Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Uh, yeah, uh, he is. He is using the ignorance of people at that time. This is can happen, you know. Like at that time, this is can be accepted. Why? Because people do not know. People are, you know, uneducated. Uh, not long time ago, yeah. actually, you know. Uh, until now, there is people believe in magic. Until now, in the year two thousand eighteen, there is people believe in mm -hmm. crazy stuff. So imagine in the time of Muhammad how ignorant people are. So. This person, he did not say to him, this is not true, because they don't know better. Mm. And Muhammad is using their yeah. ignorance to fool them. Claim, yeah, sure. claim, claiming that he got his knowledge from God. But today, <laughs> you know, there is no way yeah. that we can believe that this is true. Uh, you see, as I said, I don't blame Muhammad to believe in such a thing. This is not my point. Mm -hmm. Because if I believe in it, if I was in his time, maybe I would believe in the same thing. Maybe, you know. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I was, yeah. you know, at that time everybody is ignorant, and they you know uh, we can't see what's happening really. So our knowledge is limit, limited. But the the problem is, he claimed that this is what his God told him. His God, yeah, who is a liar. It's not, yeah. it's not him believing this is what happened. A personal opinion, no, a personal opinion. Any anyone living the time of Muhammad, as I said, he can he can believe in this because. Uh, at that time, people believe in many things, which is fictions, you know, and uh, people have no scientific answers. Uh, even scientists yeah. in, in that time, they were guessing, like some scientists believe the earth is a flat, you know, at that time. <laughs> yeah. So, and Muhammad, yeah. he, and Muhammad, he adopt that, actually, the Quran have many verses speaking about the earth is a flat. Uh, and, and the funny, uh -huh. the Muslim, they say it is the Bible teach that the earth is a flat. Why? Because the Bible says the four corners of the earth. But my friend, until okay, now, yeah. until now, we use this figure of, of speech, which saying mm -hmm. the four corners of the earth. You can go and yeah, write sure. many stories from the stores written this year or the year before, and you will see they are using still the four corners of the earth or even the news. But doesn't mean there's mm -hmm. corners, and doesn't mean the Bible says that the earth is a flat and there's corners. It's, flat. it's about that. Yes, yes. The Bible says clearly that the earth is like a globe. It's like a bowl. You know, and the, mm -hmm. the Bible says that the earth is hanged on nothing before, not, you know, yes. three, four thousand before the scientists discovered that the earth is flying in the space. The Bible mentioned that it's hanged on nothing. This is exactly mm -hmm. the words in the Bible. So uh, uh, if, if a prophet, he mentioned that and he said his God told him that, then this is a guy. He is telling the truth is God because there's no way a human being he will know that the earth is hanged on nothing. You know, yeah, sure, for, that is true. Yeah, for a thousand of years, people they believe in in the fictions. Like as an example, uh, there is a, there is a a whale. Uh, his name is Noon, and this Noon <laughs> is ca is carried by a bowl. And this is religions was very well known and famous. And is this is exactly yeah. what Muhammad he believe in? The Quran even speak about it. Noon, you know, mm -hmm. Noon yeah. wa Quran wa We go to the interpretation. We find that Noon. Is a whale who carried the earth in its back. Now, how in the world mm -hmm. somebody he claimed that God is talking to him, and God is teaching him, and yet he speak of a noon, and this noon, noon. and this noon is yeah. a whale carrying the earth in its back. You know. Yeah, but the, the the other thing is that Jews during that time they did not accept um, Muhammad as, as a prophet. That's the best thing because they knew he was lying. Well, it's not only the Jews, even the Arab did not accept him. You know, the Arab, the Arab, mm. they told him, they told Muhammad many times, all the, all the things you say to us, it's a fairy tale stories of the, of the, uh, of, uh, of the people before us, you know, it's the fabulous mm -hmm. story. So, uh, if, if we, if we search for the word Asatir in the Quran, we will find that this, this word, which means legions or uh, fairy tale, it's mentioned mm -hmm. many times in the Quran, and the one who said that to him, not the Jews. It was the Arab, you know, and they keep saying to exactly. him, yeah, and they keep saying to him, Wa in hada illa asatirul awalin. This is nothing but the fabulous mm -hmm. of, of uh, fairy tale stories before of people before us. Chapter six, verse twenty-five. Uh, chapter yes. chapter eight, verse number thirty-one. Uh, chapter uh, sixteen, verse number twenty-four. Chapter uh, mm -hmm. twenty-three, verse number eighty-three. So imagine how many times. Chapter 25, verse number 5, it's all over the Quran, 27, 68, uh, uh, you know, uh, chapter 46, 17. As you see, it's all over the Quran. They keep saying to Muhammad, this is the fairy tale stories of the fabulous. We don't believe in them. So even the Arab at that time, they did not believe in the, in the, in the, in, in, 
in, uh, in the Quran and the statement of the Quran and the funny the Muslim they say mm -hmm. the Arab at that time they could not make Quran like this how they would make Quran like this if they are just saying to him as you see this is stupid <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know they, they, like it, it's very yeah. funny the logic of the Muslims how, okay how come the Arab did not make Quran like this how they will make Quran like this if they are saying to him this is stupid man mm -hmm. especially yeah. the story of flying on a donkey to heaven it's it's a fairy tale it's well, yeah, nothing a, 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 everything everything you see the, the the Arab here speaking in general about all the Quran that it's a stupid book it's a just nothing but the fact this is the Muslim translation you see so mm -hmm. so yeah. how they will make a Quran like it if they are saying to you what you're saying is a stupid it's a fairy tale <laughs> stories of of of, uh, of people before us so imagine I come to you and say oh, I'm, I'm going to write something here and I challenge you to make something like this and you listen to me and say this is stupid man get lost <laughs> this is stupid um, and they are talking about what? they are talking about the stories he come with Mm -hmm. And one of those stories Muhammad. is the sun going Mom. and sleeping under the throne and the whale is coming mm. the earth You know, there's a whale his name is noon and Allah he created a tablet and he wrote all the uh, all his information there I mean why God you need a tablet? <laughs> is that is that Samsung Galaxy 8 or 10? I don't know how many no. tablets did Mo Moses no, carry. No, no, no. <laughs> you see, I, I don't have no, I have no problem. But uh, with uh, Moses carrying a tablet, he's a human being at the end of the day, and he wrote things. <laughs> we write things because our memory is short. We lose numbers. We lose memory. But God, mm. he wrote his books in a tablet, and he put the tablet between the between the eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. And <laughs> why this? Why he need a tablet? I mean, well, hey Allah, do you know my number? He forgot. Look it in the ta tablet. So, uh, uh, all the stories is coming from legions, fairy tale stories is exist before yeah. Islam. Everything in Islam is coming from somewhere. All right. Uh, thank you, brother. Yeah, we will talk later. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we have Take a Muslim, we have a Muslim on a call, so thank you. Yeah. <coughs> All right, uh, Uthman yeah, or Osama or whatever your name called. Go ahead. As you see, it's the fabulous of all, you know, of the ancient fairy tale stories. This is can't be from God. The Arabs said that to Muhammad in his time. They laugh at his Quran in his time. They did not find the Quran a miracle as the Muslim tried to fool us and say, oh, the Quran was amazing for the Arab at that time. Muhammad, he had to go in war to convince them in his Quran. And one of the funny things, the Muslim, they say the Quran is a miracle or full of miracles, that the Quran itself says that Allah refrained from sending miracles. How the Quran says Allah refrained from sending miracles, but the Quran itself is a miracle. <laughs> It's like imagine saying I'm going the word I will say to you it's a miracle and then uh, the word I say I say I refrain from making miracles that is stupid translation chapter 17 verse number 59 read with me carefully and we refrain from sending signs we refrain from what from sending signs okay how Allah how the Quran is a miracle and Allah refrain Allah announced already that he refrain <laughs> I mean who is the crazy here imagine I say to you I refrain from taking selfie and then I say to you I will prove it to you in the, in the coming selfie All right, Osman, how are you? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, yes. What do you have? Can an, you ask, do you have an answer? Can you ask me a question again? Do you have an answer why Muhammad was wrong? Uh, actually, uh, that, that question, I that question I will skip that. So uh, ask me a different question. If you have a doubt, then. All right. As you see in the front of us in the Quran, 
it says that Allah he refrain from sending miracles this is a chapter 17 verse number 59 mm -hmm. why Allah refrain from sending miracles why Allah why Allah he refrain from sending miracles? which means he will not do miracles no more Why? No, I'm not getting properly your wife. I'm not getting properly. Say again. I'm saying why Allah he says he will not do no more miracles. Why? He not do more miracle. No, he will not do any miracle. Not that's it. He have he he's in a strike. He is in a strike mood. He will not do miracles. Why? Mm. Why Allah did not do a strike during Jesus' time? Not Musa's time, all the prophets before Muhammad. Why only when Muhammad come, Allah will not do miracles? Uh, give me the explanation more. If I understand, I, I'm not understanding your question, but the, what is the main purpose of you asking that? Well, the purpose is we don't know. I mean, uh, I can say right now I'm a prophet of God. And I am mm. uh, my God is powerful, but uh, my God now he don't want to make miracles. People they ask me yeah. why why you don't have miracles if you are a prophet? I say to them because uh, my God he don't want to do miracles no more. Why? Yeah. Why? <clears throat> why does God he only when it's come to Muhammad he don't want to do miracles? Why all the prophets before have miracles except Muhammad? God, uh, uh, I'm thinking about that. Let me. I will try. I will try to give you one your answers. All right. Uh, uh, I'm sure you will have an answer because it's very easy to answer yeah. this. You are a Muslim. Muslims are very knowledgeable. They are very yeah. strong in faith too. Why? All Muslims your, are genius, and all of them they are. You want to know that your purpose is the why Allah chosen the Muhammad. No. Why and, Muhammad? Uh, why so Muhammad before, only? So why? All, no. All Muhammad. Prophet. Rahman, 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 why Allah, why the Quran says all prophets before Muhammad, they have miracles from Allah. But when Muhammad arrived, Allah, he took vacation. He don't want to do miracles no more. Why? Allah said, Allah said about that. Mm -hmm. When uh, Allah said about that, uh, about Muhammad, if mm -hmm. Muhammad is, uh, if, if Muhammad is came, I, I mean <clears throat> in the Bible and uh, in the other book what Bible or book? I don't understand what are you talking about my oh, friend my question I mean, is very simple Bible listen, listen. And, uh, other Fo books, focus focus they on me. about that my friend uh, one prophet my one friend. prophet focus with me focus with me focus with he will become in, he will become there in Mecca uh -huh, uh -huh. okay okay yeah but this is not the question uh, Rahman focus with me okay take a uh, breathe <sighs> okay breathe Okay, take, relax. Why Allah, when Muhammad came and he is a prophet, why only Muhammad, Allah don't want to support him with miracles? Why? Why Allah don't want to support him? One minute, one minute, I will. Uh, I, I can I skip this question. If we keep skipping questions, I mean, we will never answer any question. You are the one who asked me to change the question, the one before it, right? So we have to go. No, over. no. Yeah. What do you? What do we, if, we keep if, skipping if questions? If I know answer, then I, I, I will give. Uh, I will try to give you answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is too complicated for me, so I am thinking about that. I will. Well, I uh, think. Give you answer. I think, my friend, all my questions are complicated for you. I mean, if I keep skipping. This is very simple. Why Muhammad don't have miracles and why Allah he don't want? Uh, why? I mean, this is very simple. Where is your friend there? He can help you. Well, your friend is there? My friend are sleeping here. Mm. So what do you think? Why Muhammad, his God, he don't want to give him any miracle? What happened? Allah is out of them. The box is empty. Uh. Why? Why Isa he have tons and tons of miracles? Why Musa he split the ocean? Why all the prophets? What even even uh, even the Quran speak about funny miracles like uh, the the rock who gave birth to a camel and she is pregnant, 
I mean, why? Why all those miracles happened to all prophets before Muhammad? But when it's come to Muhammad, Muhammad have none. What happened? Muhammad have? Have none. There's no none. It says the Quran, Allah, he refrained to give him miracles. He gave him none. Allah did not give Muhammad any miracle. That's what the Quran is saying. What happened? Okay, I, I will call you back uh, after one minute. Wait. Okay, no problem. We will we will take a commercial break until Mr. Uh, Uthman uh, he he come to us back with the answer. So let us think it about it this way. Muhammad is a prophet, but he have no proof. When they ask him to give a proof. He said Allah took a vacation. At least give us miracle, man. He said, what I can do. My God, he refrained from sending miracles. He is in a strike mode. And what you can do if God refused to give miracles. And now Muhammad do not know what to do. He have no miracles. He have no science. He have only a speech. Where is the miracles? What happened? Where is God? God in a vacation. He went to Hawaii. And look at the excuse here in the verse. It says only because. Wait, wait one minute. Oh, you got the one answer. Minute, oh, Rahman, he got the answer. That's surprising, really. Yeah, one minute. I will. Hmm. I'm listening. Somebody is saying, "What about splitting the moon?" No, the Quran does not say that Muhammad split the moon. The Quran says that the moon is split. That's it. Nobody knows who split the moon. <laughs> Uh, you see, actually, it's funny that people don't even read the text. That Quran, uh, Muhammad is quoting, he is copying a poetry made by an Arab person whose name is Imr al Qais, who said that the moon is split, and he's talking about his girlfriend when she appeared at night. So when she come, it's like the moon is split, you know, because supposedly she is very white. Uh, the Arab they love white women; they don't like dark skinned women. So he is uh, making a poetry about this woman who is so beautiful because she is so white and as if it is the moon is split and Muhammad copied it and put it in the Quran. But even that verse does not say that Muhammad split the moon or Allah split the moon. It just said the moon is split and the judgment day is near. And actually that statement in the chapter of the moon prove another proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because Muhammad there, by copying the poetry and making it a religious statement, he just gave us a false prophecy that the judgment day is very near. But that never happened. What is the judgment day? Here we go. The moon did not split, and there's no, no judgment day is near. Hmm? Any Abdul? Hello, are you there, Rahman? I uh, look like Rahman. He took a nap, maybe. Rahman, are you there? Hello. Yes, Rahman. What happened? What happened? Where are you going? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. What uh, you, you are asking that? Yeah. So why Allah He refused to give miracles to Muhammad? Why has God stopped the sign of miracles? Yeah, why Muhammad don't have miracle? Why? Ah, Tell us why. Why I'm giving you, I'm trying to give you an answer. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> in the name of Allah, we praise Him, seek His help, and ask for His forgiveness. Whoever Allah guides, none can misguide. And whoever He allowed to fall, extra, none can guide Him. Uh, 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 all right. We bear witness that there is no one, no ideal, no person, no grave, no prophet, no no imam, no no die, nobody mm -hmm. worthy of worship. 
Rahman, what does have to do with my question, man? Are you going to give me a story, a figure of speech? Why Muhammad don't have a miracle? Take a bus, take a bus and go around and tell me a speech. I want the answer. I don't want a speech. Why Muhammad don't have miracles? What What do you mean uh, we, we, we bear witness? You bear witness for what? You bear witness there is no miracles. Are you bearing witness that there's Muhammad have no miracles? And this is your answer. I, I let you go and check and give me the answer to come back and tell me what is the answer why Muhammad don't have miracles. And you came to give me a speech that we bear Muslim, we bear witness that Muhammad is a prophet. Why, why don't why Muhammad don't have miracles? Yes, why Muhammad don't have miracles? The Quran says that the Quran chapter 17, verse number 59. How many times I need to repeat? Why Muhammad Allah did not give him a miracle? That's what the Quran is saying. Allah is saying, Allah, not me. He is saying, I refrain from sending sign to who? To Muhammad. So what do you mean I bear witness that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God, blah, blah, blah. What does that mean? The question is, have nothing to do with your answer. Why Muhammad, his God, did not give him miracles? Why? The answer is very simple because Muhammad is a false prophet. His God does not exist. Hello. Yeah, I hear you. Why Muhammad? Uh, his God saying, "I will he not give Muhammad miracles." Why? Why Muhammad don't uh, don't have miracles? Yes. Why? The Quran yes. saying that, not me. The Quran. The Quran. This is but, not my. The Quran saying that Allah did not give Muhammad miracles. The question is why? No, Allah has given a lot of miracles. Where? Where? Uh, where? Muhammad. Okay. Where? Where? When? Show me where. Moon. You can see the moon. With the moon that doesn't say it's that Muhammad no, in the Makkah, Makkah, no, no, Makkah no, 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 my friend, about the uh, my friend, so, Rahman, uh, uh, my, my, my he, friend, Muhammad Rahman, divided the moon my friend, into parts. Rahman, Rahman, even the Quran says it clearly that there is no miracle there, or what the Quran is saying that the moon is split and the judgment day is near. It did not say that Muhammad is split it or Allah split it. So, what are you talking about? And here we go. If that if that miracle is a true miracle, this this is mean that this verse is is a contradiction because Allah. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, are you saying there's a contradiction in the Quran because the Quran is saying Allah refrained from sending miracles. So if this is a miracle was given to Muhammad, and then Allah He said I refrained from sending miracle. That's mean no, that there's a contradiction. Now first I'm asking that you are saying that Muhammad why don't why Muhammad don't have miracles? Let me I will tell you hmm. Muhammad Muhammad has. Some many miracles. Many miracles. Muhammad has. So why the Quran miracles. saying Muhammad? Have, miracles, okay, so why Muhammad are the oh, number okay, of okay, supernatural okay. occurrence which the claimed by the Islamic tradition? Oh, brother. Okay, brother. Listen. So why the Quran saying Muhammad have no miracles? If Muhammad have many miracles, why the Quran oh. saying Allah he refrained where, to give Muhammad where, miracles? Where you got the expert thing? Where, where the Quran said Muhammad has no no miracles? I am talking to you, Ar Rahman. For the last 30 minutes about this, and now you are asking me where no chapter 17. Chapter why chapter, don't have any miracles. Chapter so 17. Abdul, am Abdul. I, I, I am telling you the miracle of the Muhammad. Rahman, Rahman. You told me the miracle of Muhammad, but the Quran says Muhammad have no miracles. I, 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 so how the Quran I, I say that the very big miracle of the Muhammad. Where, where, my friend, uh, my friend. Uh, okay, answer, answer. He, about, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let us say for the sake of argument the moon was a split which is a which is a lie The Quran says Allah gave Muhammad no miracles. This is chapter 17 verse number 59. So who is lying here? Allah is lying or Muhammad is lying Can you show me the line? I I am on YouTube chapter 17 me? verse number 59 No, no, show me on the YouTube. I'm, I'm there. I'm, I, I can watch that. What? I, I'm showing it on YouTube. Here we go. It says and nothing made us refrain from sending miracles except that former generation accused it to be a lie. So Allah, He will not send miracles. So why you are saying to me, Allah, He gave Muhammad miracles when the Quran confirmed that Allah refrained from giving miracles? Oh, according to Quran, Muhammad has <coughs> Quran, I, according to Quran, I, you, you said that Quran, yes, Quran, yes, no yes, yes, Quran says that chapter 17. You said that you, you have, have, have the mention the Quran. Do you have Quran? Do you have Quran in your hand? Do you have Quran? I want you to go right now to Google, uh, type can you Quran, 
टाइप टाइप करो ऑन 17 59 यू टेल मी द आया आया नंबर माय माय फ्रेंड हाउ मेनी टाइम आई नीड टू रिपीट करो ऑन 17 चैप्टर 17 वर्स नंबर 59 17 या चैप्टर 17 वर्स नंबर 59 आयत नंबर 15 दैट वुड बी वन थाउजेंड आयत आयत नंबर 59 चैप्टर 17 Verse fifty nine, chapter seven. Let me make it slow for oh, you. Hold on, I want, on. I want to listen. There. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen. Look like you are not getting the number. It's going to take you long. So let me make it more, more efficient for you. In the Quran, in chapter seventeen, the verse fifty nine, 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 fifty nine. Chapter seventeen, fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty nine. In the Quran, chapter seventeen, fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty nine. I hope you'd remember now the number and you got it right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Finally. So. Uh, Hello. 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 Uh, It's me you are uh, looking so for, Rahman. Actually, what's happening, Rahman? Come on. What's happening, uh, Rahman? I mean, obviously, it says in the front of you, and we refrain from sending signs. Okay, Allah, He said He refrain. So how Muhammad have miracle and Allah refrain from sending signs? There's something wrong here. One of them is lying. Either the Quran you, is lying or the Quran is lying. What there was there in the Quran that is wrong. This is the Quran. The Quran says that. I just gave you the verse, the number, I, I, the chapter. I know that. Yeah, that, that is the Quran said that about. Uh, what's wrong with you, I mean, Ahmad? I just yes, the Quran, Quran says that. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran says Allah refrain from sending miracle. That's it. You know what refrain mean? He will not. He will never do send miracles. That's it. Why? Because for the generation, but according to according to Hadith, according to Sahih Muslim, according to Bukhari, brother, brother, there, brother, there is mentioned, brother, brother, uh, brother. Okay, so are you saying uh, okay? Which one? So people. now, who is lying? Allah in the Quran or Sahih Al Bukhari? Who is lying? This is Quran. Allah is talking now. But who is the liar? Sahih Al Bukhari or the Quran? You are saying that according to according to according to historian Dennis Grail, the mm. Quran does not widely describe Muhammad performing miracles. Bro, 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 miracle what, who is this? Who, who is this guy? Who is this guy, man? Don't tell me a guy according to who is this guy? Is your prophet? We have Quran, and we have your prophet, and the Quran saying, "I refrain from sending miracle." Are you going to tell, say to me according to Zakir Naik? Okay, let me bring you Zakir Naik, brother Tatar. How come the Quran said that Allah refrain from the miracle? The answer is very simple. Sometimes you are in the mood to send miracle. Sometimes you feel dizzy. Sometimes you want to vomit. Sometimes you are a bread net. But you are not bread net all the time. So sometimes you give baby. Sometimes you have the baby. At the time of the Prophet Muhammad, Allah have no babies. So he had no miracle. Thank you very much. Uh, what is the answer? Why Allah did not give miracles? In the time of Muhammad only, in the time of Isa, he had a lot of miracles. In the time of Moses, he had a lot of miracles. Everybody had miracles except Muhammad. What happened? So, I, I think, uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, I, think, uh, you are, I, I think you are focusing on the one sentence only. Please it doesn't matter. It's one sentence, my friend, can, my friend, my friend, my friend. You are focusing one line of the Quran. You yes, yes. We have to focus. No problem. Why not? We have, we have to focus, my friend. Many things in different. My friend, my friend, my friend. We we have to focus. This is the word of God, supposedly. This is not a joke. So we have to focus. I, I, Allah, yeah. Allah said, when Allah He said, I that listen, listen. You are studied, you are studied and finally you got the problem. When Allah He so, said, I have no miracles. He is lying or joking. He is saying. Oh, that's I why have, I am saying that uh -huh. you are focusing 
you are focusing on the one line of the Quran only. So, so what? You are the <coughs> you have not focused on the below and no. I focus and the on the Quran. The whole, I have. I can focus. We can. We can Quran, focus. What, no problem. We, no, 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 no. We focus in the whole Quran. But this line is very important, proving that Muhammad is lying when he say he have miracles, because it says Allah He gave Muhammad no miracles. He refrained. So where is the truth? Actually, you know, you know, Musa. Uh, okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, let me ask you a question. Let, let me uh, listen. Listen. Yeah, no, no, not later. Not later. Not later. No, Rahman. 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 Not later. Not later. He's not mentioned in the Quran. Rahman. Writing of the moon. Rahman. Rahman. Not later. Musa is a Jew. I mean, Jews. You know, the Jews are not good people, right? That's what the Quran teaches. They are bad, bad, disgusting, unbelievable. So, how come Musa was able to split the sea? Why Allah did not make Muhammad even split the cheese? Musa has split the seas and Muhammad can't split the cheese. Yeah. When oh, that the, uh, Musa, that is the story of the Firaun. Yeah, you, yeah, you, I know. But you, Musa, you this is a miracle of God. Okay, this is a miracle of God. Okay, the, <coughs> listen, uh, listen, myth. listen. I know, now I know. Kind of Quran, he will the Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Abdul. Listen, my friend. Okay. Why Musa is the Jew? He's a Jew. I mean, God, Allah, he don't, he didn't like the Jews. So why he made them split the sea, but Muhammad can't even split the cake? You tell me he split the moon. How he split the moon? If the Quran saying Muhammad have no miracle, I want an answer. Why the Jews, which Allah he don't like them, he gave them tons of miracles. All the prophets of Islam they are coming from the Jews. Tons of miracles. So why they have tons of miracles, but Muhammad he can't split even the cheesecake? And the Quran says it clearly, I refrain from giving miracle to Muhammad. Why? What happened? You are you are focusing on the one line only. It doesn't Quran. matter. One, one line is very Amen. important. This line is very important. I cannot ignore it. This is God talking, my friend. This is not the Mickey Mouse. If Mickey Mouse yeah, says yeah, that, that listen, listen. If, if if Mickey Mouse said that, I can but let it go. It's a Mickey a, Mouse. If Zakir Naik said meaning. that, I, 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 okay. Let I, I will I will I will I will concern my friend. I will concern to my friend. Uh -huh. Is your friend a scholar? He's a scholar. Uh, yes. Okay. What? Why you don't make him call me? What do you think? If your friend uh -huh. is a sheikh, uh, I will. I, I will ask to him. Mm -hmm. Why is why in Quran is not mentioned? No, that, no. I want you. Uh, I want you to to make uh, him Rafi call me. Listen, not listen. Have any Rahman, Rahman, let me tell you something. As long your friend is very strong and very powerful, if you make him call me, he will be able to refute me easy. So I think it's best for your interest to make your friend and tell him why you don't call this guy and shut him up. You know, he can do it easy. He is knowledgeable. So ask your friend the sheikh to call me and everybody will laugh at me. <laughs> I mean, people, they will be dying laughing at me if your friend call me, especially he is very knowledgeable. What do you think? <coughs> oh, okay, I will try. All right. Now I will you. say. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to say something else, Mr. Rahman? <coughs> Do you have anything to say? Actually, actually, I have I have studied about the Quran. I know I know, uh -huh. but uh, I I I have not studied very deeply. Uh -huh. I'm I, I'm I'm the student of the engineering. Student. Okay. Okay. I'm, let, I'm let, studied, okay. Uh, I will ask you a simple I question, Rahman. Well. I will ask you a simple I, question. I'm studying Quran daily, but uh, I. I Okay, I will ask you. A, uh, I will ask you a simple question. Why the prophet he said when you go to the bathroom you have to shake your penis three times? You have to shake your. Why you have to shake your penis three times when you go to the bathroom? If you three times. Yeah. Why uh, you have? Why why you have? Why you have? Uh, 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 you know, uh, to shake your penis three times. <clears throat> why not four? I mean, this is. Simple. You do not need. I mean, to stir so much. Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Why, 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 why three time? Why three time? I heard that there's a guy he shake it four time and it fell apart. It came out because it's like made in China. Why three time? No, you, three time. <clears throat> yeah. One minute. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, one minute. One minute. Mm -hmm. I, I will try to give you one minute. Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
<coughs> just take a note guys it's dangerous to shake it more than three times just take a note I mean hello this is uh, like a, a, a disclosure it, don't do what we I'm say in this video okay and don't do I'm going to put in charging yeah what you would do what my, my charging is finished now I'm oh your charging uh, is finished. I'm going to put okay, okay. my phone in charging no problem go, go charge my friend uh -huh. and uh, when you find me the answer why your prophet said don't shake your penis three times, let me know, okay? No, wait, 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 sorry, wait, it, one says, minute, it says mean. it says shake it three times only, not not uh, you know why we don't know why. This is Sahih Bukhari in front of us. The prophet said, whenever any one of you makes water, doesn't say that in Arabic actually. It says when you piss, he should hold not hold his penis or clean his private part with his right hand. All right. Now it doesn't really. Uh, translate correctly, but let me give you the other uh, hadith. What is the what is the other one about uh, shaking it? Uh, hold on, hold on. You should not hold your penis with your right hand. Why? Why? What do you think? What will happen if you hold it with the right hand? If there is any Muslim around so now we have two stories one about shaking the hands shaking the penis three times and uh, the one you cannot hold your penis with the right hand what would happen you think if you hold it with the right hand <clears throat> hmm? Hello. Yeah. So why why you have to shake it three times? <clears throat> why you have to hold you you cannot hold it with the right hand? Uh, according to according to Quran, uh -huh. uh, there is the rule of the uh, similarly here the the penis and the vulva must be washed with water after urinating. This washing is known as stinja. The Quran suggests that one should wash. Uh, one hand as well, which is discussed in verse 5.6. Mm. Why? What? Why? Why? Why you have to wait three times? Why you have to do it three times? What about four times? Why, why three times? What will happen if we do it four times? Why one minute? Yeah. <clears throat> Because some people here they are worried if they do it uh, like four time or five time, <laughs> and there is a, there is a risk. God, hello. Yeah. God, there, uh, <coughs> there is the uh, little little urine, urine come out from the penis, so they, that's why. But why three time? I mean, do it four for four time. Why three times? Why three times is perfect? What about four? Is that scientifically correct? Like, you know, if you do it three times, it's better than four times? No, no, is that is not the. <laughs> if you if, 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 if compare to Wazoo, if to compare to Wazoo, Wazoo, you understand? Mm. Wazoo. Yeah, we do. But now this is about. If, wadu, wadu, no, my wadu, friend, yeah, this is not if, about Wazoo. This is not about. This is, this is not about. Prophet said. This is not about Wazoo. Mm. This is. This is. Yes, not, I'm, I'm giving an example. Uh, by the way, this hadith is weak. Do you know that? You can. You. Do you think this you is about? You, do do, do you think this is about a weak penis wadu. because Muslim they have weak penis? Yeah. Why you have to shake it three times? Uh, okay, my friend, my friend. Okay, okay. Let us say it's wudu. Let, let us say it's wudu. Why you have to? Rahman, Rahman. Why? Yes, yes. Rahman, why you have to shake it three times? This is the question. I don't care why. How? You know, I mean, what the what the purpose at the end? But why three times? Why you have to shake your penis three times? What about four? What about two? What about once? What about ten? Why? Why three time? 
The danger will will happen if you shake it four times. Time. You think like the person will die or something? I heard that there's a no, it's not there, and you said that if a person he shake his penis four time, the penis will broke pieces. <laughs> I don't know. That is the that, that is the wrong. So why why three time? What the purpose of three time? What what is this about? You know, Muhammad, you said you have to clean your ass. You have to clean your ass. Listen, listen, Ahmad, Ahmad, Rahman. You have to clean your ass with the three rocks. You have to shake your penis three times. You have to blow your nose three times. Yeah, I mean, why, why everything three time? What, what, why, why you have to three use the three rocks for your ass? What about four? We'll make it cleaner. Uh, if you go, if you go in the deep, uh, Rasul, a prophet said uh, uh -huh. that. Uh huh. Uh, even even and uh, even and uh, about that even and odd odd is the <coughs> odd is the sunna odd is the sunna sunna three three means is the sunna yeah but why 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 three time I understand this is sunna sunna is just the practice of Muhammad this is what sunna means so why he practiced that why he shake his penis three time why Muhammad and uh, and and why Muhammad is telling you that I mean what 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 what, uh, what happened to you did you shake your penis three time last time. When you went to the bathroom, did you shake your penis three times? What will happen if you do it four times? Did you try it four times? Like, do Allah accept you as a Muslim That's if you I do it three? If you if you satisfied, you are you have you have clean. Okay, you no, know, okay. Finished. If you do it four times, if you do if it you four times, you have you in, in, All right, in all right, time. Rahmat. If you do it four times, you time, have not satisfied there. You you have right, right. Okay. You have okay. what you finished three times. Oh, hold on. If you do it four times, that will make you cleaner. If three times will make you clean, then four times will make you cleaner. If you do it five, fifth time, that will make it yes. cleaner. I mean, Whenever better. you satisfy, you can do it. So why, why not? You can uh, leave it. No, why three times? Why not five? Why not six? Why not seven? Why three times? Why you have to clean your ass with three rocks? What about four rocks? That I'm will, saying that three is the sunnah. Three, three is the sunnah. Everything I know, the, I know. But uh, why, why, your, why, why, your, why, your mouth but three why, 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 your hand three times? I know that this is what Muhammad did. You are repeating yourself. You told me that. You keep saying this is sunnah. This is sunnah. Sunnah means nothing except that Muhammad he did that. But why? Why he want to clean his ass but, with the uh, three yes, rocks? That is the, uh, the, that is the point. Why? Muhammad he did. Muhammad he did did that. Why? Why? But why? Not, not only he did. He told you to do that. Why? Ah yeah yeah yeah. He, yeah. he told he would, uh, right. So he why 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 three time? Why he insists in the, with a three time? What is the connection between three rocks and the cleaning the anus of a man or a woman? Why three time? What about four? If you do it four or five, there's no way your anus will be clean after you do poo poo with three rocks. I mean that would be One disgusting. <clears throat> By the way, guys, you just remind me. I need to go and do shopping tomorrow for some rocks. My bathroom is, I have no rocks no more. I'm in trouble. So, you know, you do not know, right? Okay, you know, I, I will let you go, uh, Muhammad. You call your friend, let him call us, and let us see. Maybe he can have answers. And you know, just be careful, my friend. Don't shake it four times. I mean, it's very dangerous. I, I heard that there's a guy he shake his penis four times, he got cancer. Scientifically, this is proven. There's a scientist, his name from Japan. His name is Yama. I do lie and fabricate Yama. This is his name. I mean, it's a very known uh, scientist. He said that if you shake your penis four times, you get cancer. If you shake it five times, uh, you get uh, energy. If you shake it six times, you get. Uh, Orgasm. So why three time? Do you have an answer or no? All right. Look like uh, Rahman uh, need to do some search. He will call his uh, scholar and he will get the answer for us uh, soon. Thank you, Rahman, for calling. Let me know. <laughs> I mean, as you see, those Muslims they are. This guy is a is a victim of this cult. I mean, he does not know what this Islam is about. He have no idea. Oh, I nobody care.
Muhammad said, Muhammad did. The Prophet, he said, the Prophet did. But why he did and why he, what for? And nobody want to discuss. The Prophet said the sun set in the murky water. Why Why he said that? You know, that's stupid. Nobody knows. Allah knows best. And Allah and Muhammad. Do we have any other Muslim he would like to call us live on air? He will take a challenge and challenge Christian Prince. And don't forget, you know, I'm not going to ask you about shaking the penis no more. Topic is but let us go to something more serious. Then want to give us a topic, something very serious. Huh? Anyone? <clears throat> I don't know the Muslims somebody can even believe to be a Muslim for a second I mean this religion is really crazy crazy madness stupidity everything you name it and yet they make you know websites saying to us that the Quran is full of miracles you are right Any Abdul? <clears throat> Who's a Muslim want to help Mr. Rahman? Anyone? Nobody? Don't forget to subscribe to our yet and if you are subscribed already don't forget to share button three all right because that is a sunnah so if you are not subscribing and you are a muslim and subscribe otherwise not halal and just to remind you you have to do it three times do you know that the Prophet, when he go inside the house, he say "Assalamu alaikum" three times? I mean, are we talking to a bunch of deaf people? Are you, you okay? Imagine you go, and I, your friend he come to your room and he say to you, "Shalom." You say to him, "Shalom." Then he say, "Shalom." You say, "Okay, shalom, shalom." Like, what's wrong with you? Are we going to spend the day saying "Assalamu alaikum"? Like, hello. Three times. Is that correct, Muslims? Or I'm lying. The Prophet he used to say Assalamu alaikum three times. Why? Like it's not even cost effective. <laughs> three times. <clears throat> no, though the Muslims number is a shrinking. What 1.7 and 2 billion soon? All those numbers are fake, my friend. Just give people freedom and you will see no, no Muslims left in Islamic countries. You guys, you have no idea. When the Muslims, they calculate the numbers of Muslims, they count me and they count all the Christians in the Middle East and they count all the Christians in Africa. They count even the Christians in Russia. Anyone who is a member in the Islamic Council, they count him as a Muslim. False numbers. Don't fool yourself. Islam is dying very fast and shrinking. Now, who is going to call me? We are out of Muslims. If you like what we do, don't forget to subscribe. And so you will get be informed when we are live on air. Usually every day around 4.30, not every day, sorry. Let us say Saturday, Sunday, uh, Friday, and during the week, you know. Uh, I don't want to have really a really schedule, but most of the week we will have broadcast uh, around 4.30, except maybe Sunday sometime I might do it earlier. So people who live in different, you know, locations, Zoom, you know, Zoom time, they can, they can join us. But anyway, you can, uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And if you have <clears throat> young ones, let them, you know, join us because... You see, the Muslim they target your young children, trying to fool them about the amazing Islam. And what we do here is very important to give the flu shot, so your kids will not get sick with this stupid cult. Many, many of the parents 
they don't warn their children about this cult and they teach them nothing because they the parents themselves they have no idea what Islam is about so my friend what we do is very important and it's not a joke you don't want your son one day to come back home and he's saying to you I became a Muslim that will be a very horrible news so bring your children's <clears throat> let them listen let them laugh at this cult and then they will see how stupid this religion is and nobody can fool them ever you know it's just a matter of uh, some education nothing more after you get educated nobody can fool you but when you are ignorant anyone can sell you anything you know uh, people they they get uh, let us say uh, they screw their life because of their ignorance not because of their knowledge so be careful <clears throat> uh, a little bit earlier please all right i will shake this topic with the angel jibril three time and we will see if we can shake the hours a little bit earlier is that good yeah is it okay to make it three minutes earlier <laughs> oh lord <clears throat> anyway i'm so glad to have you all of you guys here i hope you guys you learn good today and uh, I want to say thank you to Mr. Osama Rahman. He's a nice person. Try his best to defend his religion. And I will be waiting for him to bring me his sheikh, the, the scholar he have. That will be very interesting if we hear that a Muslim scholar is going to call a Christian prince life on air. And imagine what happened, what will happen to Christian prince. I mean, he will hide his head three times. And in the best scenario, if the scholar of Os Osama or Osman he called us Christian Prince. He might hit hit his head in the wall three times during the debate with this guy. So I think it's going to be very good, uh, you know, uh, to have a Muslim scholar calling me, uh, so all of us we can get the benefit of this conversation between the ones who knows and the ones who do not knows. And supposedly the one who do not knows is me. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Our time is up. Until I see you soon, maybe tomorrow around 4 4 30 stay with us subscribe and you will be notified as soon as we go live on air christ is lord islam is false i mean to that and see you soon again bye bye